a new season will give us a new champion here. As the grand finals is set, we have Optic Gaming in front of their hometown crowd going up against Space Station. Two rosters, of course, Andy, built for this moment. Yeah, what a story it is, right? Both of these teams making changes to take down the defending world champions in phase, and guess what? They found themselves first event of the year up against each other, and the question is which of the two team changes on each side of the main stage will be the defining one to take the title at event number one of the year. Yeah, who is going to have those bragging rights? Is it going to be Space Station who made the change, bringing in Legend, or will it be Dead Zone getting some revenge on his old roster as part of this new look Optic Gaming roster. Now, we mentioned Legend. He's got an opportunity here to make history. He could be the first ever international player to win a HCS event. And, and what a story it already has been. As we said, already made history today. An international player has never placed within the top two in over 20 years of professional Halo. However, as you say, an opportunity to push that story even further and potentially take the first ever event win for an international player. Now we should highlight as well, we move from best of fives over to best of sevens and it's SSG, Space Station Gaming, who come into this grand final with that series advantage. Why is that such a big thing? Why does it matter so much? Well, the last time that Space Station won an event, it was from this position. So many times we've seen them in grand finals, but usually they have to come through the Elim. Right, the story all of last season for Space Station Gaming was the winner's bracket finals. If they won that, we thought that they might be able to win an event. They did that in Salt Lake City. They find themselves in the same exact position here. And as you heard on the desk, what a winner's bracket final it was. Going not only to five games, but going to six games. A very rare feat in a game two tie that had to be replayed. And that final game coming down to the wire as well. And we are set up here for quite a grand finals to kick off the year. This feels quite special, doesn't it? I don't yeah. know what it is. It's just a little bit of magic in the air. And it's kind of uh, poetic, I like to say, as we take a, a look at the uh, grand final series layout. That when Space Station won that event last year, it was in front of their crowd at their event. Well, Optic Gaming have got the opportunity to do exactly the same thing here in Arlington in front of the Green Wall. Yeah, taking a look at the series layout. Some interesting numbers across these first few games of our first best of seven. Both teams are 1 0 in King of the Hill on Live Fire. They swap on Slayer Streets. Optic Gaming is 1-0. SSG has lost that game type. However, across maps 3 and 4, it's worth noting both teams are 1-0. So three of your first four game types, these teams have the same exact record throughout the weekend. Which is fascinating, right? There was nothing to separate them. Just a few kills. The last time we saw them go up against each other, a little bit earlier today, but that's history. It's time to make some more here. You can see the players are set. We are ready up here in the caster booth, and I'm pretty sure this crowd is ready to go as well. It's a Sunday night in Texas, everyone. You know what that means. It's time for a grand final. And no surprise here, the Let's Go Optic chant already starting in the room. You saw Forble hyping up the crowd, making sure that they're getting up and they're getting loud, and we are underway in game number one. And why wouldn't you start with the man on your screen? He's already made history. He continues to make history. Legend, the man we're talking about, of course, has the opportunity to do what no one outside of North America has managed to do, to lift a trophy and call himself a champion. And the man on your screen right here, Stellar, he was quoted this weekend as saying there was only one player in the world that we were making a team change for, and that was the French Phenom in Legend. He's brought them here undefeated so far in Arlington, can they finish the job up against Optic Gaming? Well, it's been a really strong start here for Optic Gaming. Of course, they have to do the hard work here. They have to reset the bracket and beat Space Station Gaming not just once, but twice. A great start for them. You can see they've already got over half of that first hill converted, and they're still stood inside of it. Formal in full predator mode here. Invisible with the snipe. We'll see what he can do. Shots coming in, though, from Sandbags and Pillars. It's going to make things quite difficult. Three will fall. Trippy is your only player alive. That will be a four dead clean wipe for Space Station. They respond, and they arrest the Optic Gaming progress at about 75%. I mean, so many times there when you lose the camo and you've lost that initial hill time, you kind of give this first hill up, right? But what a push that is from Space Station. Somehow they spot out four with that camo and make it a non-effect on the map. Stella has the sniper rifle as well, Ooh. and at the moment, he's putting it to use. Almost connects on the third. That mud push will come in from a teammate, though, and off of that pressure, off of the timing, Looks like it should have come oh. early. Finally, he takes down Lucid, but Lucid buys a bit of time for the squad. However, most importantly, look at the scoreboard. Tied up on the first hill. I mean, Dead Zone doesn't want to poke because he knows that sniper rifle and he knows the teammate that he used to sit alongside is pretty damn good with it. Stella starting off in championship form as Optic find themselves three dead. 
and SSG are moments away from converting this hill. It's a staggered three dead as well. Lucid is sandbags. He's the only hope to apply pressure right now. You see the rest of the players coming in from scoreboard. This should finish. This should be the first hill go to SSG, and it will be indeed SSG who strike first. As Stella has started this game at five and one. And it sounds silly, but the man doesn't miss very often, and he looks like he's trying to keep that up right now. He's still three dead for Optic. Take a look at that top left. Still controlling here from Space Station. They're now outslaying 17 to 14 on the rotate. Not only that, like you say, they've won the rotation as well. It's not just the first hill. They are set up inside the second. They have oh! the tower, and Stella. Oh, he takes to the stars, disappears into the ether, but reappears when Optic fans did not want to see him. Up close and personal, beautifully done there. Just having the QT right on the QT spawn spot to land that melee very cleanly. And that leads to a little bit of more control on the board for SSG. However, Trippy with a big opportunity here. It's Too dead for his side, he needs to slow it down. Yeah, it's an opportunity, but with those kills going in the favor of Space Station, he has to just stay alive now. Because if he challenges and he gets spotted out, there's going to be three or four Space Station gaming members who are going to be able to hunt him down so, so quickly. So all of this time, it's just free time for SSG. Trippy down has to make his play. Really is. Let's see what he can do. He does pick up one. That's going to lead to three dead for SSG. It's very good timing. They're going to look for the last one as well. But once again, it's answered back by the side of Optic. A clean four dead. Very well executed by Optic Gaming. Excellent patience from them. Now they will begin scoring on hill number two. He's got a sniper rifle as well. So there's an opportunity here for him to get that first damage, break a shield, break a skull, and give Optic some control here. Stella gets that first kill and manages to get away. However, there's a couple of other players who Lucid's going to have to deal with here. It's a 2v2 on the map. Sniper rifle still in the hands of Lucid. But look how elusive Eco is being. He's baiting. He's waiting for help to arrive. E and no! Oh, unfortunate. Lucid, of course, goes for the repulse there, bottom mid, but just taps his head against the bottom of the ceiling and instead gonna fly off and lose snipe. So what should have been clean control and a fourth dead player on the side of Space Station actually will go to Space Station control. We're gonna get this in a game of margins. That's what can cost you. SSG, they managed to break and Optic will find themselves three dead. They know where the last player alive is and that's gonna be Trippy. And Trippy says, I know I'm gonna have to give this one up. He's trying to buy time, but Eco just has to dip his toes in. Oh, look at this, they're waiting. Able to convert, but I love this from SSG. They're trying to get kills before they convert and trying to take the rotation with them. Let's see, there should be a player there. Yes, indeed, they buy a little bit of extra time off the game clock, a little bit of min-maxing coming out from the side of SSG, but I cannot stress enough how big of a blunder that was. Eco was the only player alive on C plat. Lucid trying to stay alive back tower because he falls. That hill gets forfeited. What should have been an optic gaming hill goes to SSG, and just like that, they lead now two to zero. Two v two inside a garage. You can see the bound is alive, and he's got that QT, which is such a problem to deal with inside of this particular hill. So are perfect shots. Enemy. As bound will hit the five onto formal, and he's still got some QT to work with here. So optic, even if they see bound. They're only going to see him for a second. That was a clean four dead. Where's this first pick go? It's a triple concrete pillars push coming in. See if Bound can fight against it. Actually, it was a quadruple. All four players on this side of the map as Camo was popping as well. Yeah, Optic were trying to bait Bound in there. I think they were expecting him to have that QT a little bit longer, maybe waiting to see if he was going to try and use the portal to get behind enemy lines. Instead, it just disappeared in time, making that push a little bit easier for them. Optic have won this little fight. Camo's still a skirmish that's gone on, but it's all around the camo. And as you say, even though they won the fight, they don't have the space to walk forward and pick up the power up. Yeah, quite a delay there on that camo. As you saw, it came all the way back into cuts right onto the dummy. So Bound is the one that gets the communication about exactly where it was on the map, and he's going to start the new push. It was pretty much tied up. Trippy's still inside. Oh! Big win from Trippy! That's going to take the camo out of the game, but it wasn't without a little bit of damage to the numbers of Optic Gaming. Stella flies in for yet another trade. It's going to be three dead momentarily here for Optic Gaming as SSG step back into that hill. And this fight here, this could be Optic's last oh, chance to push. Oh. Lucid will win the fight on Bound. Trippy's going to fly in as well. Last chance saloon. And Optic stand up. Lucid was the only player alive on cuts. He wins the first 1v1 against Camel. Then he flies scoreboard, somehow wins the second one against Keydoard. And by that time, Trippy has the help on the push. And somehow they will steal this hill out from SSG to put the hill on the board. An amazing individual effort coming in from Lucid. It's a killing spree for Lucid just when Optic needed it. If it's 3-0, to zero, you start looking at game clock. You start thinking maybe the time is going to be a problem for us to get back in this game. But 2-1, to one, completely different feel. Enormous play there. Otherwise, we'd be at 3-0 to zero here. Lucid with just an enormous effort coming off of cuts to win those two battles. And by, as we said, by the time that all happened, the cavalry was in. 
with Optic Gaming trailing here, two to one with 229 left on the clock. Let's get into a listen in with Optic Gaming. I'm gonna go above. That's now, that's now. I'm going to the Repulse up, weak. Repulse up, top, 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 top. absolute bottom tower, absolute bottom tower. I'll kill him. On the ship, top nest, top nest, top nest. Pop it, Pillars. Pop it, Pillars. Pillars have shields. Pop it, Pillars. 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 Pop
It's going to be important for them to try and break. However, look at the damage output at the moment. Look how Eco is having to play this slowly. He's trying to be the pivot for his team at the moment, putting down damage, allowing other players to move around his position to clean up those kills. Of course, unsurprisingly, based on what we're seeing from his POV, that he would be leading his team in assists right now with 14 on the board. Finally, he's taken down top mid, but worth noting here as Optic Gaming continues to score on this fourth hill. Space Station was down by an 11 kill deficit. They brought it right back as they're right back here tied neck and neck in the slate department, but all eyes on this last hill. Oh, Legend with a big win on Lucid, though. Stays alive on the pillars just so he can make that route to back tower. Really important moments of this game. Optic Gaming inside of the hill. Space Station do manage to break and get a few kills themselves, though. Another kill going to be picked up here by Bound, and it's at the most important time of this game. Space Station will break. They will have control of the tower, Ooh. but Lucid and Dead Zone combine off the respawn, and Legend is under pressure. Keep in mind that Lucid and Dead Zone were the spawners. They come up to Sandbags right away. They start the push. It's a really big push there. Unbelievably, Space Station had great control, so we're 2v2 on the map here. Enemy team near 2v2 on the map, but Optic inside of that hill. And look at the angle that Lucid has right now. If he can clean these two players up, then this might be massive for Optic Gaming. The repulse keeps him alive. But Stella's going to come back here to challenge. Bound will be in the position as well to try and get a little bit closer to that hill. Sniper rifle in his hands. A few shots here from Bound, and this could be an SSG game. It was too dead for Optic yet again. Look at the spawners, all in back green. Optic's going to have one more push here. We'll see. A few pushes to put together. All they need is one push, of course, to get the hill themselves. They've got the camo as well here, SSG. They've got all the toys, but they don't have any mistakes. Seven seconds left on that game clock. Optic know this. It looks like the game clock won't be a factor here as we will go to that next hill, but Optic are inside. An Optic of forcing Space Station's hand here. Ooh. Eco has to go. He's got to go right now and make a play. He's got to make this play, but it's Dead Zone! He's got Dead Zone against his own team! That's he it. wins the 1v1! The wins Optic game one! What beautiful patience coming in from Optic there, as you said. Eco with the camo and dummies, but Optic just forces their hand. They jump right in the hill. They keep the game clock at zero. And what felt like we were going to get a little bit of extra time on the clock to see how things played out at Tower instead results in Optic Gaming scooping up that win. Let's not forget, Optic Gaming was trailing 2-0. to zero. Early on in the game, they bounce back. They win 4-3 to three and also outslay in the end, 88-83. to 83. So many pivotal moments in that game. I'd love to watch that end game back, though, because you could see that SSG looked a little bit split on what they wanted to prioritize on the map. And even though they were a little bit split, they ended up pretty much getting everything that they were split for. They had the camo, they had the sniper rifle in and around that hill as well, but nobody seemed to be inside of the hill to get that little bit of time and force Optic to come towards them. Optic showing some great late game resilience there as we take a look at some of these highlights. And what a game number one. I mean, you heard the desk talk about it, and if you caught the winner's bracket final, you knew it was on the way as well. But for that game to end 4-3 to three on a big comeback from a 2-0 to zero deficit for Optic, I think it just, first of all, is a great table setter for the series. Second of all, just a testament to how closely matched these two teams are. Great QT work coming in early on from Stellar as well. It's going to feel like a long time ago, though, for Space Station when they were up 2-0 to zero in this game, as they will fall in the end. By the way, looking at the numbers, it's going to be Lucid going 25-20, and 20, leading his team in the kills department. On the side of Space Station, it was stellar in the end, 29-21 and 21 for him. Such a close game, and it sets us up again. This, it's what we saw earlier on between these two teams, right? It comes down to these tiny moments, these one shots that are missed, or one decision that is countered by a player on the other team, and it's Optic who start the rally. Winning game number one when you know you've got a reset of bracket, Andy, is so, so important just to restore the confidence, just to show yeah. that you can force the hand of SSG and that they are going to be in this for the long haul. Here's the last moments you're talking about. Look at the win from Dead Zone. Also, him staying alive. Make sure the Trippy can actually, with full shields, jump in. No spawners. Legend was your only player pushing top mid. In the end, it's a big, big win for them as they close out the game 4-3 to three on that hill before going into any additional time. As you say, they'll take game number one, which is not just a big game on the board when we're talking about a potential double best of seven, but also a big momentum boost for them because they're looking ahead, if they have their way, to a long evening of Halo, and that'll just be one more step in terms of resetting this bracket. I mean, it's a long way to go, but how good must that win in that 1v1 felt to dead zone? It's not yeah. an easy fight against Eco, even though Eco took a little bit of damage on the way in. The fact that he had the camo, which makes the aim assist a little bit you know, less when you're going into those first few shots, it's going to feel good to do that against your old teammate, especially in the position where you can win the game for your squad. Now we move on, though, to Slayer Streets and I mean, we've seen some big moments from both these teams. And one thing we kind of, we were talking about before this series got underway is 
where SSG lost a lot of the big series last year was in those Slayers. Right. Optic have already won series at this event in those big Slayers. Their record is, is superb at the moment through the tournament, whereas on the SSG side, it doesn't look quite as strong. Really well, and I think what we saw also in that last game, which a lot of Optic fans can be proud of, is the fact that not only did Optic play the objective so well, but also outslayed in addition to it. And the reason I bring that up is because against their phase matches, they often were winning the objective, however, getting outslayed, which is still pretty impressive in terms of objective efficiency. However, it's even better to see for Optic fans that not only are they winning objective department, but also in terms of slays, also outslaying here against SSG after that winner's bracket final. Absolutely shown, and one thing we have to talk about as well is just the significance of this moment in Halo history, because every offseason, uh, each team will kind of regurgitate the same thing. We made this team change to take down the current world champions. We've heard it now for two decades. However, how special a moment that the two teams that made the biggest team changes, the ones that are the most talked about in the league to take down FaZe, are now up against one another, and all it took was a few months of offseason, and then the first LAN event, they're up against one another. That is testament to how strategic, how intentional these team changes were, that these two are now going up against one another, and we are here in game number two. Optic Gaming leading Space Station 1-0. We thank you for humoring us, everybody. We're back into the gameplay. Like you say, Optic up by one in our grand finals. A little reminder, they will have to win this series and another against Space Station to call themselves champions, but it's been a good start for them so far in this series. However, not such a good start in the game. They're down four to one. Bound picks up two. The really nice strategy they're coming in. Tries to shroud B stairs, tries to come in with a shotgun. Lucid tries to get away with something crafty. In the end, though, Bound is wise to it. He picks up the double, and off the back of that, it's an early four to one lead. Look at him as well. Pushes Lucid back one more time. Oh my god. He's Look. buying so much time here. So much time. Just holding off that B Street spawn. You saw the dead zone had kind of got behind them. I'm not sure if it was a, a spawn that was back Ivy or if he'd managed to sneak in, but. By holding off the players in front, it allowed the rest of SSG just to deal with him. And now it's an eight to three. Really, really well done there coming in from the side of SSG, as you say, to answer back. We'll see what Seller could do here with the camel on the prowl. AR in his hands. Doesn't even need to fire a bullet. Now he fires some bullets and it turns into a double kill for him. However, he will get taken down, which means that the camo is good for two. But no more at the moment. 10 to four the score at the moment. And as the gap starts to widen, the Optic fans realize that maybe the team on the stage needs a little bit of a help in hand. They start that Optic chant, but a 10 to 4. I think SSG will recognize that as something good as well. Here comes the driveway push. That's going to be cleaned up immediately. Kills are traded out. 2v2 on the map as the driveway push comes up from Optic Gaming. Space Station able to answer it there on B rails and B, and things will just kind of even out and slow back down at 12 to 6. Formal finds himself a battle rifle as well up on the balcony, which is so, so good for doing that long range damage against the bandit. It has a little bit more range and a little bit more ability to output damage to these players who are across the map. And not only the battle rifle as well, it's going to be three dead. And the red gun is in the hands of Optic Gaming as well. So they can keep Space Station at bay here. Those kills time perfectly with the camo coming up. And Ooh. Formal e might be able to get away, but Bound and Stella combined to make sure that he doesn't. Yeah, he was there for just an extra oh, oh, second. Oh, oh, but oh. most importantly, he needed to bring it to the beast there, oh. but it gets flooded right away. Optic Gaming with very good timing on the initial kills. However, it might have been just a bit too early on the grab and it punishes them. Now 15 to nine, Camo will be burned in the end. And SSG maintains their lead quite a handily. Seven kills. Bound is quietly going about his business in this game as we're watching a little bit of legend. He's two and one at the moment. Positive one for the game, but he's able to lock down the commando of Tram here with his shotgun in his hands as well. Bound seven and three as he picks up his third death, but legend is a problem here. But Formal sniffed him out and Formal looks like he might be able to deal with him, but legend stays alive for long enough. For Dead Zone to come in and have to give his teammate a little bit of a helping hand. Up to gaming, doing what they can to keep things respectable. They trail now by five, 19 to 14. Kills will be traded over here in music. Formal knows he needs to slow things down as well. It was a very good push coming up driveway. They kind of ran the same playbook on that earlier camo grab. But you have to think, maybe Formal just uh, one split second early coming in from the L across benches trying to get that camo back to the B stairs. It will still be a five kill game. Legend's position, Legend's position. He's behind two here. Legend was creeping up on those stairs and just stayed alive long enough for Eco to get one and for him to trade out the second. And how many times, I mean, do you remember the quadrant play where Legend was stuck on those stairs? Seems yeah. like a position that he likes to take. Remember it well. One dead for each side. Here comes the push into Red Room. Gonna maybe try to get a trade out. Trippy's still alive, should knock it away. Legend makes sure of that. 23 to 17 here. Let's not forget, Optic 1-0 in this game type. Space Station is 0-1. However, it's been a very different start between the two. It's still a six kill game. That lead has been established and pretty much been the same for this game 
since it was initially picked up. And now you're going to see a big swing come in from SSG here. They want to try and take down all of the players on the pink street. Trippy's going to be weak. Formal's trying to fly across to help him. The grenade should be good enough to get the kill at least. But Formal is trying to hold it down for Optic. Bound will pick up another kill elsewhere. Formal will fall and that will be Optic losing member after member. And now it's an eight kill advantage as the camo goes up and Bound is going to collect it as he crosses 10 kills in this game. Wow, look at this now. 29 to 20 in favor of SSG. Let's hear the play call from Bound and SSG with a listen in. One shot, 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 Step baby. I hear that, Legend. Right. Let's play around bound again. You go arcade. You go arcade. Okay. Kill spikes. Watch the back, Watch the back, baby. Spikes. We can't be. We can't be. We can't be. Go arcade right now, bro. Yeah, one shot. Trippy. It's him. Watch out. He jumps up. Jump watch out. Okay. Okay. Two guys. Okay. Two dead. No, no, no. Bottom in. Bottom in. Launch it. Launch it. Launch it. Kevin is sitting there on the box. He's on the box. I can Legend. One more. Eight him. Eight him. Eight him. Bottom in. Bottom in. Shooting. Okay. Shooting. Okay. Weak. It's one cafe. Kevin. The baby weak. Shotty's up. Shotty's up. The baby weak. Grab it. Are we weak? Good shot in, good shot in. Watch out, Gavi! Arcade. I'm good, you guys, I'm good, you guys. Okay, got me. Hey, team, Gavi, watch out. Gavi, Gavi, watch out, Gavi, two guys, two guys, Gavi pushing. He was in B1. Two guys, Gavi pushing. I'm gonna push him up. The bottom mid, push him bottom mid. Bricks, Bricks now, jumping up towers. Two there, bouncing right, left. Look it up. Five bullets. I'm very pissed with him. Okay, he's in B6, he's in first, we're shot. Careful. What's up, Z? Yep, all weapons, careful, be live. Watch out, Devin. You want spikes right now? Might run out, let's go. Might run out. What could be here? What could be here? What could be here? I'm watching out, guys. I'm here, I'm here, Legend. Okay, on me, on me, on me, Legend, ice cream, ice cream, Legend, might be on you. In B, in B also. He's in the corner, Legend, yeah. In B, in B. We can work, we can work. He's not weak at all. In B, stack me, stack me. One shot, one shot, one shot. One shot in B. Okay, Moen 25. Keep living, keep living. Start playing together again, here. They have all weapons. Yo, he has a stalker. Stalker killed me. Stalker killed me. Trap, trap, trap. I'm dead. I'm dead. Yo, front trap. We get that. See much. Yo, we want to trap them. See, by the way, yeah, we yeah, want to trap them. See, stop going. Free go. Free go. Free go. Watch out, Jen. Relax. Watch out, Jen. Then just listen to me. Just listen. Okay, in C, in C. Well, from the listening, it's been all Optic Gaming in the scoreline. They are now down by just two kills in this game. And even though SSG were doing their best to keep that lead established, it's been chipped away one kill after another, and Optic are back in this. And just in case you weren't keeping a very close eye on the scoreboard, Optic was trailing 30 to 20. Oh, that's big. Big, big sneak king coming in from Eco as well. Might separate them yet again, but Optic was trailing 30 to 20. And over the course of 1 minute 25 seconds, they bring the game back. That's so important for SSG. That might be the game winning play for them from Eco. Taking that camo down without taking damage and without him, the camo player, Trippy, being able to impact the score means they can keep that comfortable lead for now. Stella's going to fly down to finish off formal. Two players going to be trapped on the B stairs here. The damage is good. Can they turn it into a double eco? Yes, he can. He's going to make it three, and that might be the dagger here for Optic. Wow, how about that? First gets a backwhack on the camel, then answers it back with a triple as well to maintain the seven kill lead. Now SSG only five kills away from closing out game number two. Talk about legend bound, Stella. It's so easy sometimes to forget about what a player Kevin Eco Smith is. And he's taken over this game. Can't quite win the battle there at the back of the tower. But the influential plays in this game that have made the difference have been from the end of his gun. Bound just trying to stay alive here on tires. And B knows that there's presence here at tower. Entire SSG roster just stacked on this kind of right side of the map, of the vertical split of the map. Two players, though, going to push back to Tram as well. Such a good play. They're trying to rewrap to take down Lucid, who was the spawner. And now Dead Zone flies in to try and clean up wow. the damage. Bound in the 1v1 against Trippy. He'll win that. Dead Zone equals it out. But every kill that goes down brings Space Station closer and closer to closing out this game and tying up the series. It's one to go here. Stella looking to move in. Formal will be the victim. And SSG will answer back. Wow, 50 to 43 is your final score and what looked like it might have been a little bit of a wobble coming in from SSG after throwing away a 30 to 20 lead. They maintain composure, but as you said, Mark, off of the camo back whack from Eco, that really slowed down not only the momentum of Optic Gaming, but of course also the advantage that Optic could have played off of that camo. Eco also follows it up with a triple thereafter, and in the end, goes 13 and 11. I mean, everybody stepping up there is Bound, who kind of led the way in kills, and KD overall in that Slayer, 14 and 10 for him. But nobody on the side of Space Station went negative. And when you win by seven kills, that's pretty impressive. It really is. Really tells you just how tightly organized this team is. We take a look at some of those stats. And on the other side, it was Formal, who did manage to drop 15 and 11. However, not enough for the Green Wall as they will go ahead and fall in that game number two. By the way, that marks not only their first 
ever loss in that map game type here in Arlington, but it also marks their first loss in any of the game types in the grand final. Take a look at some highlights. Yeah, I think the initial lead was established almost off the break, right? It was SSG who won that opening strategy, won those opening battles. And then from that three kills that they got off the break, they managed to just kind of spawn cycle them once more. And that was the difference between the whole team. It was Bound and Space Station who controlled, I would say, the early camos in the game. And the one the one important one that Optic got was shut down immediately by that back smack from Eco. I love that he took the risk just to fly through the shroud. Many people would have gone, hey, this camo's gone. I'm not going to overextend here because I know Optic are waiting. But Eco calculated decision and it paid off. So SSG, they take game number two. They tie the series up one to one. Now let's not forget that only means that SSG is three games away from potentially ending the tournament here and now in this grand final. However, Optic also three games away from sending us to a second best of seven, potentially sending us the distance. But taking a look at this series layout gives us a chance for just a moment to talk more about these game types while we get ready for game number three. As we said, overall, it's quite a noteworthy stat for these game types. Optic Gaming was Overall, 9-0 across these game types here in Arlington. Now, of course, that they've lost that Slayer Streets, they become 9-1, but it's worth noting that for the rest of the best of seven as well, they have not lost these game types. However, if we look at the two losses that were to come in on the side of SSG, as we said, Slayer Streets was the one game type they had lost previously. They've also lost the Slayer on Aquarius map number seven. SSG comes in six and two overall, however, they already answer back, win the game two Slayer. So that might just kind of indicate that we really can't trust those stats from Arlington too much. <laughs> sure. Things are kind of already out the window. Yeah, I think it's, it's interesting when you talk about it like that, right? It, it, all it really tells us is that you're not quite sure who has the advantage in right. any of these maps. Both teams are so equally skilled and talented when it comes to every single game type. And I love what Clutch said on the desk as well. Wentz was saying, you know, it's you can look at game types across the series in a best of five, and it gives you a good indication who might, who, who might have an advantage. But with a potential 14 games in front of us, if the bracket is reset, it just means whoever the better team is is going to win. You can't rely on game types because you're going to be tested on right. pretty much every single map and mode game type that we have in Halo Infinite. Right, and just what you said, it comes down to margins. And this wasn't necessarily the case in early on in year number one of Halo Infinite, but now deep in the game's life cycle, it absolutely is the case. It comes down to small moments, small margins, small back wax on the camo, for example, coming in from Eco. Taking a look at some attacking CTF stats here at Arlington between the two teams. Yeah, I mean, you're looking at average caps. It's Space Station who get more caps per game. But when you're looking at conversion rate, it's Optic who are just slightly ahead. So it seems like Space Station are pretty good at winning the games and getting to, which shall we say, the max amount of caps. But when Optic get that flag moving, it's, you know, 50% of them are going home, which is pretty damn impressive. It really is. That's not a stat you see often. It just tells you once again how objective efficient these two teams are. Just to give you ballpark numbers, it's much more common that 20 to 30% of pulls are scored across the board, even in the highest level of competitive Halo. This just indicates to you just how efficient these two are. I mean, you think of a pull, it's usually something thrown out initially. Usually right. it's not a perfect four dead scenario. And I mean, if you're able to turn a, a two dead with a flag pull into a convert, like you're seeing from those stats on, on both sides, it's not it's not going to mess up here. 50% impressive for Optic, but 48 not bad as well from Space Station Gaming. It's not like there's a, a gulf in the numbers between the two. It just shows that if they get that moving, they are so good at collapsing on those final kills and clearing the way for their flag carrier that you can't really afford to let them in that base with those kills going down against you. But that's going to be the story of the next game, right? We're off to Empyrean. We've got three flags in front of us to win the game, or of course, be ahead as we hit the time limit. And most exciting for everybody who's watching right now, we've got two snipers to play with. Gold, the goodies, rockets, overshield, you name it, we got it. That's right, another thing to mention, of course, is just how much time Dead Zone has with all three players on the other side of the stage. Of course, with the with the uh, exception of Legend, he knows what these strats have been for the past 12 plus 24 months, right, for these players and how they played each of these game types. And you know that they're relying on him to say, here's what I'm expecting SSG to do. This is how we played it last year. And we'll have to see if they're going to be able to tap into that advantage, tap into those strategies and the knowledge coming in from Dead Zone. I'm not going to lie, I just had the, the hairs on my arm stand up for a second there as I saw Stella versus Lucid in the first fight we see with the sniper battle. It was, nobody really won it. It's 1-1 one, one in body shots at the moment, but Legend is going to get the early rockets here for Space Station Gaming. Dead Zone. He knows what Stella can do, and Trippy's learning as well. Four dead again. Beautiful cleanups coming in. Already outslaying 7-2. to two. 
on the side of SSG. All four players spawning on cuts and flag. We'll see if they can collapse here. Not going to be easy. This is where you wish you still had one rocket left, right? Yeah. Walk into the flag. Easiest overkill. Clip it, ship it, put it on social media, and get yourself one up on those flag caps as well. Bound is going to find out where all of Optic are, though. And I love that Space Station are showing just a little bit of patience here. Not overextending into that base, but also defensively, Optic have somehow got out of this. Yeah, let's see. Ooh, Dead Zone tries to fly oh out of the needles. Answered immediately. This would be something special from Stellar. That is a tall task. Like you said, credit to Optic Gaming. I think that was a really just nice back and forth respect shown from both sides because when you have four players spawning in the flag on paper, for example, in ranked, that could be an easy wipe. However, SSG knew that that's not going to be easy to take down all four players. Optic knew they had a good chance to push out, and they do just that. We'll stay here 0 0 with no pull just yet. I don't know what your ranked games look like, but that's not a guarantee for my ones. <laughs> But we're going down inside of Sword at the moment. Bound's going to get the double, but trade it out. But there is a flag moving here, and it's going to be Legend who's going to be moving it for Space Station Gaming. It's a 2v2 on the map oh at the boy. moment. Formal has one bullet, and he has oh! Frenchman's brain to hit. Of course he hits it. Of course he hits that bullet. Stops the flag dead in its tracks. One dead for each side. Flag will not advance past Long Haul just yet. Return. Talk, Talk about, about the, the pressure here. that shit? I mean, come I on. Know. Crazy. Unbelievable. Leave it to Formal. Unbelievable setup there that there happens to be a sniper rifle with one bullet right next to him. It's like something out of a Hollywood film. Too dead for Optic Gaming. I can hear Breaking Benjamin in my ears just <laughs> as he picked it up. But Legend now going to be moving towards the green box. 20 seconds or so until the next set of rockets come up. Off the opening break, it was SSG who managed to at least get one of them. And it was Legend who got a kill with it. But a standoff around the 50 yard at the moment. You can see Eco and Bound are probably thinking about trying to make a move on the saw side. Legend's job right now is to hold down green and lock. But Optic are getting aggressive here. Here comes Formal, just trying to prenate it. Oh, oh, oh. oh prenate does hit. That's a two-man push coming in for Optic. However, they will lose two. 2v2 on the map. Rocket's going to go to Trippy, though. Eco, the last player alive, and Dead Zone just come off the respawn as well. So Trippy's smartly deciding, hey, you know what? If Eco doesn't show himself on green box to try and collect these rockets, I'm going to back up and wait for the help from my teammates. We've Stella should be dealt with here, and now you can see the push is coming because they not only have rockets, they have the OV2. One player hiding in the mangler, you just saw. We'll see if that is a factor here. Trippy might know about it. We'll see how he runs this. One player still on the needle is going to be bound. Bound's going to fly, bound's going to fall. And now you're going to see Optic continue that flag run. Stella did get the sniper rifle off the respawn, though. We saw what Formal oh, did, no! and Stella, what on earth is that? Oh my god, you kind of got the feeling when you're on Stella's POV. He's coming out of S1, he's drop sliding, he's going to hit that shot. It's no, an unbelievable flag stopping play. I, I, you can, you're lying. <laughs> I knew it. it. There's no way I anyone expected it. him to hit that on those shields. But hit it, he does. Oh, I've been nah, we are, we're in for a treat here in this finals. <laughs> Let me tell you why I've been on the receiving end of too many plays like that. I've seen it happening in his nightmare fuel. An unbelievable shot from Stellar back against the wall to stop that flag dead. Now a run for SSG starting. Lucid sneaking around the back tower though, and he's going to shut that down almost immediately. So it's going to be two dead and a sniper rifle back into the hands of the Optic Gaming Slayer. Eight minutes left in this game, no flag caps, but plenty to talk about. <laughs> I think everyone, little goosebumps on the arms, and everyone's kind of having a little bit of deja vu of late season stellar from last year. Remember 2023 legend late in the year where he was hitting every shot that he absolutely had no business hitting. That shot was unbelievable to fly out S1 essentially in a 1v3 and connect with the no scope in what feels like a violent fashion that might not even be legal in the state of Texas. So maybe get away with it, Texas, maybe not some other states. <laughs> Another kill here for Lucid as he tries to get aggressive on the courtyard. Stella will be last alive for his team here and still manages to get a kill. And it's an important one as well, because that means the respawns will more than likely come in on the long haul side around the mauler. So Space Station could overextend. And I love this play from Stella. He's thinking, if the spawns come in behind me, then I'm going to have some support. But Optic read it, Optic shut it down. Even gets a death nade out there on loose, and not the first time we've seen Stellar using the repulse in a very, very tactical way, right? He's not simply using it to kind of get out of situations. He's using it to not take damage in these very, very pivotal 1v1s and then push up across the map. Eventually, he's taken down, so we'll see if Optic can come off the back of that kill, maybe get some mid-map presence. How this game's going at the moment, I'm just going to put it out there that we just, we just play this every game. <laughs> In our grand finals. Legend has the rockets again, though, and Trippy now as last alive. Stella has the overshield, and this is a worrying moment here for Optic because Stella's pretty, pretty handy with normal shields. We've already seen that, right? But now he's got a bit extra to play with. Finally gets dinged there. Going to be happy that Dead Zone takes off essentially the rest of the overshield. We'll see what he can do here. I think they, they just couldn't find the last player alive there. You can see Stella's running around, checking corners, and 
I think it was Dead Zone actually. He was just hiding away in the mauler, and now he comes back out. Look, he gets that kill. And that's the kind of respect, again, yep. that's been shown by Space Station. They need to find that last player. They need to be aware of where he is before they move that flag. And what a grand final this has already been between these two. I think the winner's bracket final told us that it was going to be quite a good one, but tied one to one here in a stalemate. CTF Imperium as well. Six minutes down, six minutes left, and we're still tied here, zero, zero to zero. Bomb making a flank here. Seen Oga 2 do something like this before, and he picked up a double kill. It's only one at the moment for Formal, but he's stolen the sniper away. And how pivotal could that be, Andy? Keeping out of the hands of Stellar and SSG could be the reason we see a flag cap. And here comes the push as well. He even had the health. Lucid's going to try to get through long and overextend. No, he comes back to needles. Keep an eye on green and long here. Formal just trying to find angles at the moment, but Space Station not showing. Eco gets the kill onto Dead Zone. He was the furthest player forward. Bounty's oh going to slide. Oh my god. And Bounty's going to fall over. Too dead though for Optic. Formal threading a needle, what he's known for there. Hitting an unbelievable shot. Now going to try to hold the angle. Eco refuses to play peekaboo with him. Oh. the moment, jeez, legend. Oh, courtyard. I mean, that long haul at the moment, there's a lot of French blood over it. Formal doing everything he can, paving the way, but Bound in the end is going to be the one that actually grabs that sniper. He does oh! it again! Triple kill for Bound on the cuts! Not the first time we've seen something like that from him this series. But well, what's it turn into? That's the question, right? We've seen Bound do this before. Gets an aggressive multi-kill on their opposition side of the map, and he opens up opportunities for Space Station to cap. Eco gets another, and all of a sudden the spawns are staggered. Legend's moving that oh. flag, and Stella is set up to spawn kill. Still too dead here. It's an immediate double courtyard push going runway. Two players from Optic do get out. It's Trippy and Lucid, but they have to win these team battles. Oh! Stella's going to win it, though. Trippy, he'll fall as well. It's a double kill that shuts down the final two players as Legend slams the flag home for Space Station. Beautiful teamwork coming in from SSG. They're up by one. Beautiful teamwork and beautiful timing. Take a look at how late Formal died on the pit box. That was really important. I think everyone saw as soon as Formal died on the pit box that late, he's going to get an overshield in the end, though. We'll see if he can answer back. But you had two courtyard spawners. They try to go runway and under bridge up the training ramp. Stellar actually, with help, wins both of those battles. And Legend with a very, very efficient run back. That means SSG leads here 1-0 to zero after eight minutes of play with less than four on the clock. Legend's in a two. If you want here, he bought enough time to break the shields of one player and slow down the run, which is so important for SSG in this situation. Optic have got to regain, recompose, and re-kill if they want to move this flag. This time it's a two dead with a flag out, but there's a flying bound in here. Oh, is that Stellar? Excuse me. Who manages to get the kills, but now he's last alive. The flag is still out here for Optic. There's still a chance. Let's see what he can do. Right now, just trying to play these angles very selectively. He gets go the help home. he needed as well. Space Station are going to have that one go home. So Optic aren't able to get that touch on the flag that was away. It's still a one flag advantage here as we move into the last three minutes and 20 seconds. Worth noting, right after that flag cap, Optic Gaming was down seven kills. However, now only down two. So they're slowly getting back into this match in terms of the Slay Department. But the biggest concern for the green wall here is, of course, the game clock. There's just about three minutes left to play. Three minutes left to play, but there's time for a sniper rifle to come up. There's time for maybe Always a time. rocket to come up and potentially one more overshield. So are Optic gonna try and play around that? Bound starts to waste sniper ammo. He was getting pressured there. Oh my gosh, just hitting everything that moves. And what looked like it was gonna be a harrowing situation is actually two dead for both sides, which provides Bound the opportunity to move into sword. Formal gonna be there, Formal's gonna body him. Bound gonna challenge it. This gives you an indication of the confidence of this young man. Not that we needed to know. Not that we needed to ask, I should say. Let's see Bound versus Formal on the sniper battle here, both on both same sides of the map. Formal gets the early body shot and will win the sniper battle as well. Big news for Optic Gaming, but just like that, picks up another one, a killing spree, a double for Formal. Let's see if he can continue on. Stanley got a shoulder peak. Formal not going to hit the shot. Trippy will slow it down, though, but all this pressure on the Optic side of the map is good for SSG. It means they're not over that halfway mark. They're not even close to infiltrating their base and not close to tying this game up with a second flag Oh, no, flag no, cap. no. You saw it happening. And of course, Bound hits his shot. Oh, my God. A lot of style points. Oh, no. Dead Zone gets it. He's going to stay oh, on wait, the map, isn't he? He stays on? What? Oh, my. Dead Zone fakes it. He's coming off the map there. Somehow the shotgun misses as well. The overshield will be neutralized, but it keeps Dead Zone alive in his enemy snipe one. 144 left on the clock. This is big. Bound is chasing him, but Bound gets bodied. And now you're going to see Dead Zone is a problem for Space Station. Optic 
trying to formulate this push. Eco down as well, and not for the first time in this series. It's X teammate that is causing Space Station's problem. That was three dead. Seller was your last player alive. It's a 1v1 here on the big no! box. Somehow gets a back smack, but there's more kills to get. They have to slay one more time before the flag run. Eco goes into the flag. He throws a nade up onto no. the plate. It's a brilliant nade, but the shots are pretty good as well. It's four dead. It's four dead for SSG. That's Optic Rally late. Unbelievable. Seller was your first spawner. He's already weak there on the sniper ramp, as you see. Let's see where the next spawns come in as well. Space Station still with some members in the death screen. Stella flies behind him and manages to get that kill. But Lucid, with no shields, has got the flag back to the Optic side. Now he needs to kill. Now he needs to slay. Or maybe he just pushes them all away. It's going to be a flag on the board now for Optic. They tie it up with 50 seconds left. Unbelievable play from Dead Zone. Let's not forget, off of that overshield play, he somehow stays on the map. He times the grab on the OV. He gets it full, and he stays alive. Even though the overshield was neutralized, he gets into the court. He gets into S1 and with help gets the kill on bounce. Stellar was your last player alive. Green, he still stays alive for one more Slade rotation. The patience out of Optic Gaming was brilliant and now with 30 seconds left on the game clock, safe to say next flag's wins. We're likely going to overtime here. It's, it's fascinating, right? So much to talk about. Lucid of course, throwing the flag off to his teammates, but then having the repulse to force the player back through green is what causes that cap to go home without any trouble. Eight seconds wow. left on the game clock. Nobody in position to pull it for Space Station. And we are going to go to overtime here. Wow, what a game number three. And we will see the game tie here in round number one. And as you see on your screen, we are headed to overtime off of the late oh. game capture from Optic Gaming. I started applauding with the game. <laughs> I was like, bring it on. I'm enjoying it. We are having a great time here in Arlington. We hope you are, whether you're joining us in the room or watching online as well, we hope you're enjoying just as much as we are. Very nice fadeaway from Formal against Eco's Rockets. We'll even things out here off of the opening break. By the way, Optic is now out slaying 80 to 76, despite trailing by 10 kills earlier. One thing that's interesting to talk about here is when we get to overtime, especially, especially well on a map like Imperium, where there's so much available off the break. Oh. If you win the opening Oops. break, you can win the game with a flag cap. Legend is in a position to put pressure on and I'm pretty sure it was Lucid who was last alive with that sniper optic. Last player alive on the cuts. He finally dead. gets taken down. Let's see how this plays out. They bought him a little bit of time and Lucid makes sure that flag doesn't get ran right away. But with two dead for optic, they need to be very careful here. Legend's got the support. Stella's there with a the sniper rifle on the long haul. Oh. Trippy's gonna take him down and Trippy's gonna take the 1v1 with Stella as well. Formal gets the naded. It's a battle of the long haul and Trippy gets two to keep the game alive. Bounds your last player alive. Surely based on the map layout, there's no way he's in any position to challenge this one. This flag should go. Trippy's gonna go right away. Right now, all SSG players spawning in the court. You felt this is surely an SSG game, but now Optic Gaming are thinking counter cap. We can get this one going. It was Stella with a snipe on the long haul who couldn't Look hit the shots, but now it's dead zone who has it for Optic Gaming. Legend is alive in the Look, two players it's here, two. Bound and Legend have overextended all the way across the map into the Mangler. Can they stay alive? Not just stay alive. If they get these kills, then they may be able to counter cap the counter cap. It's counter cap on counter cap on counter cap. The return comes in for SSG as Optic fail their opportunity to win the game. Oh my god, what a set of Ooh. plays back and forth. An absolute tug of war there on the long haul. And that's a tale as old as time as far as competitive Halo goes, dating all the way back to 2007. A beautiful thing to see. And off of the opening two minutes of chaos, we are still tied here in overtime. Catch your breath. That was a little bit too much for overtime. <laughs> Stella will be flying S1 at the moment, trying to survive. Trippy trying to keep the pressure on. And Gonna be a little bit more difficult for him to do as a teammate will fall elsewhere on the map. There's the force push again from the repulse. But it's gonna be Optic Gaming who's their push ultimately fails here as three players will fall. Dead zone last alive again as the Rockets come up. A 1v1 here momentarily. Dead zone versus Bound in the green hole. For the Rockets, Dead Zone wins it. Let's see if he can scoop those back. Not gonna be easy with the pressure coming in, so it's good damage that SSG can capitalize off of. And the chaos continues <laughs> here, unsurprisingly, in green. Rockets will fall. Everyone is exploding in the green box. And while that's happening, Legend has decided, hey, you fight for the Rockets. I'm going to go and pick up the Overshield, and I might be able to flank all of the carnage, all of the problems, and pick up some kills myself. Knows that Lucid's on that training, and Lucid, again, is such a small thing to talk about, but the way he buys time Amazing. for his team is so impressive. Stella finally deals with him. Dead zone in the 1v1. Legend will win that. It's new teammate against X teammate, and he gets that flag moving once more with Optic 2 dead. He starts to run right away. He goes plat. Very oh smart. God. Great movement coming out of Legend. He should be able to get through long haul. He does. Where are the nades? Not going to hit just yet. Has to slow down, though. Look at Formal. Look at Formal. 
Formal's got a sniper. They had no idea that Formal had snuck down the long haul. And Formal has almost single-handedly stopped this. Eco going to be trying to pressure him. Formal no stranger to pressure as Lucid picks up yet another kill. And now Legend is last alive inside of the Oh, no! Do not leave Formal on your side of the map. I don't know what Legend did to Formal, by the way, but he hates him. <laughs> Unbelievable, back and forth, dead zone will fall, formal will fall, however, so that flag may not see any more distance off of the flag stand. One minute 13 left in overtime, and you get the feeling after about 17 minutes of appearing in CTF that we're gonna see even more. I say this as genuinely as I, as I possibly can to everyone who's here and watching. I am casting this with the biggest smile on my face. <laughs> this is the most ridiculous game of Imperium we've seen in some time. Seriously, I absolutely just, as we said, tug of war gameplay between these two, back and forth, just equally matched. And now 45 oh. seconds left on the clock, Bound continuing to rack up kills and assists on the board. Just a second again for the map to reset. Trippy will be taken down as Eco keeps his good teammate alive here bound on top of the tower, but the sniper rifle ammo is now out. 30 seconds remaining. Is there time for anyone to go forward? Does anyone want to risk it at this point, Andy? Great question. I don't. You're seeing right now with 20 seconds left on the clock, it would have to be a very, very fast <laughs> movement across the map to even get the flag off the stand. Well, there's one person who can move pretty quick, and he's on your screen right now. His name is Bound. As maybe they're going to think about just wrapping back through for these rockets. Maybe they're thinking about wrapping through to make sure that no Optic Gaming member is in a position to pull that flag. And it looks like that's going to be it, everybody. And to, yeah. and to be honest with you, I'm pretty good with it. We have a replay being tied up. Oh. What a game. What a game. And as you said, I don't mind seeing more between these two. And we'll have to get word from the officials if this is a straight replay or if it will be the first to one based on the league rules. In the end, though, we can tell you Optic Gaming outslays 109 to 104, only by five kills in the end of the game. We need to talk about some of the numbers because Formal is dropping 40 bombs. Uh, he goes 40 and 20 in that game. I mean, three of the kills, I think, essentially stopped a flag cap or contributed to a flag cap. It was pressure kills with that sniper rifle in his hand, right? I mean, you think about the first one on Legend. Legend, all that Formal can see when he picks up a sniper rifle with one bullet in, one bullet, by the way, as all of his teammates are dead, is the top of the Frenchman's head. Yep. And he hits it. He hits it to stop that flag. A little bit later on, kills Legend again inside of the flag. I, I honestly don't. Formal, Un Formal hates Legend. Unbelievable. By the way, Formal on your first BR, you, know, you got to ask on the space station side, there was a little bit of a flag delay, which indicates to me maybe they knew that someone could have been on their side. Maybe someone grabbed their snipe. But if you have Formal sitting on your first BR and then in your mango, you're in trouble, right? We're trying to get back across the map. And that's exactly what happened. Formal hits the shots that he needed to to buy the time. They even started that run. In the end, that flag didn't go. But as we said, it has been a game of margins between these two. If Formal doesn't hit that single shot from the sword to the long haul, yep. that flag goes as well. And we're going to continue to see more and more of that as we get to see even more Imperian CTF. Halo Infinite in general, however, especially on this map, these teams are desperately trying to just stay together on the map as they advance. And we are back underway. Sudden death, double overtime here. Next flag will win. I'll be honest, I needed the break. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> two minutes. I sort of say two rockets, excuse me are going to be picked up here by Trippy, and they are pretty much uncontested by the looks of things. And this is looking like a very strong start for Optic Gaming. Stella up on his island, up on the tower. Oh, oh, oh and my somehow God. somehow or other does not care that Trippy has rockets. How cool, how cool and calm can you stay on top of your turret when you have a rocket player, Trippy no less, flying at your top snipe ramp, and he just hits the perfect timing on the jump, the body shot, and the melee doesn't even trade with rockets. What a counter from Stellar. Well, Stellar's gonna have to do it again, though, because Formal was picking up snipes. It was oh, a oh, rocket. Oh. <laughs> oh, God, Trippy, that was Trippy again. Can you imagine? Trip, Trippy goes into Vod Review on a Thursday or a Friday. Uh, like they were talking about it. Like, I don't care what you say. I did nothing wrong. I did nothing wrong. I cannot believe that. Stellar has Trippy's number in these. Ooh, boy. But Formal also answers back with a shot from the long haul, which means two dead for SSG. Look at the team makeup here. Can Dead Zone make a play on the third place? This is a really big 1v1. Legend gets one. Ooh, it's a, a trade. trade. What a trade from Eco. 
If he goes down there with Formal on the long haul, there's an opportunity for them to get that flag through the needles and maybe towards the optic side of the map. That's the margins. That's what we're talking about. A trade is a talking point. Especially because Bounty has already made the decision to go sword. If he was doubling back to cuts, it would be a different story. However, Eco getting that trade on the flag prevents the run entirely. Stellar, not done yet, but man, back and forth between these two. What will separate them here in Empyrean CTF as we've now played a little bit over 20 oh minutes my. of this game time? I mean, it's just a shot you expect him to hit. It's not like it's a an easy shot either. It's just an easy shot for Stella. Just rips Formal apart. Oh. Trippy down as well, and this is starting to look worrying. The only good news is he's got no sniper rifle ammo left, but he might find a little bit here if he gets this trade. Dead zone. He will fall. Formal is last alive, and Formal is trying to buy time. Eco gets the touch. Legend will get the kill, and maybe this is the moment for SSG. They're going to drop. Whoever gets their shields first will continue that run. This flag is good. Big kill there from Lucid, but there's more work to be two? done. How do they get two kills inside of the base? From there, the flag is pretty much dead. Stellar and Bounder last alive. And Optic again with a last moment. Goal line oh, stand third. defensively as the Rockets are back up. What a win from Lucid on the flag ramp facing first BR. He gets the fadeaway, just drops into the flag. And as you said, there was more work done off screen we didn't get to see. But Legend and Eco were both taken down by the Optic spawners and we will stay here scoreless. Lucid going a little bit of flank here around the Rockets because he knew he didn't have the numbers. Gets one onto Stella. But it is going to be Space Station who get the Rockets for now. Eco retreats to his side because he knows someone's here and manages to get the kill. Optic are three dead, but as you can see, Formal gets the extra Rocket. And now Bound is going to be last alive and Formal's got your wow. snipe. And this might be the win condition, right? Even if Formal throws this off the map, if you keep it oh. out of the hands of Stella, then Optic can take over. Look at the timing, it's like, oh, oh my, my god. Somehow finally gets taken down. It was like clockwork there, just grabbing the rocket, hitting the splash damage, finishing the kill. Oh, oh god. And now Lucid takes down Stellar. I can't even get a single thought out without another highlight reel, highlight reel clip coming onto your screen. What a match. Pick a POV. As long as they got a sniper, it's gonna be entertaining. There's one thing we can guarantee. Legend and Stellar though. Get the kills to clean out their side of the base, and Lucid has to retreat. Eco, I was gonna say, might be in a slightly advanced position here, but Formal's dealt with him. As now it's a full rotation on the map towards green and long haul for Lucid. Looking at those sword angles, if anyone pokes, well, you know, you know what happens. First, first player to fall is Trippy. Let's see if Lucid and Optic Gaming there can hold is. the answer back with a snipe. Let's get into a listen in with Optic Gaming. Watch out there, Steve. Training, the training. Training, training, training. Uh, back that man, back that man. Back that. Watch out there, training. Watch out there, training. Watch out training. Watch out there, 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 training. He's still weak, still weak, and I got their S2L. Jump percent. in the court, jump in the court. They're training down. They're gonna get their S2 still. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, two, 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 there's two. Three, three, there's two. Three, three, there's two. Yeah, two more, two more. They're trying to kill me, they're trying to kill me. Runway on Tommy, runway on Tommy. Yeah, old OB, old OB and runway. They're gonna train. I killed, I killed yeah, there's still another guy around sword. Weapons they have a sniper and sword right now. Sniper and sword going our sword. Weapons? Yeah, we got to their needles. Our sword versus, no, back to their sword. Their sword was sniper. Are you ready to flank for these weapons? Just one, fucking first. All our absolute. Yeah, one shot there. Oh, there's a guy in sword. There's a guy there. Bounce, you got repulse in there. Close. Short time. Two weeks. One shot. One shot inside sword. Yeah, Suck. Long. One shot inside sword. One shot inside sword. Come on, Rock. Oh, what's going through long? I think here's something going on. Truck, truck, truck. Yeah, our second actually. Watch out, green weak. Our fucking suck. Our green weak. Three, 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 three shots. I didn't play OB. Yeah. He has it. He has it. He's going. He's just sitting on OB. Sitting on OB. That's two. That's two. That's two. That's two. They have one somewhere. Nice. Still has OB sword side. He has OB sword side. They're training. Which one? They're training. training. We got shots away. We got shots away. Shoot, melt them, melt them, melt them. He's mid-bridge. One shot. One shot. The sword. One shot. The sword. Okay, okay. Stay alive. Stay alive. Hold the angle, Joey. Hold the angle, Joey. We're good. We're good. That's good. Watch your angle. Okay, so sword. Sword. Treat on me. Bad. Space Station. Four dead. Optic with the flag back. Formal sends the crowd wild as Optic will finally win the game. That Imperium. CTF will be remembered for quite some time. Nearly 25 straight minutes played of Empyrean CTF, and you don't always get to see that much of a game type between two teams, and you very rarely get to see two teams that are this evenly matched. That match and the overtime and the sudden death replay are certainly indicative of that. In the end, it will be Optic Gaming off the back of huge kills from Lucid and Formal that will take the overtime win and take game number three. One of the craziest things about Halo Infinite is 
you keep thinking you've seen it all right. You keep thinking that surely these players cannot get any better. The performance with the precision weapons in that game from so many names, formal, stellar, lucid, that run he went on at the end of overtime there just shows. This is the level we're playing at these days. One bullet, one kill for formal. That will live long in the memory. Unbelievable. You called it too, seeing just how many shots were left in that weapon. Formal knew just how many shots were left in that weapon as well. This in itself was an un... Look at the angles that Formal's pulling here. He's been siphoning from sword for many, many years. Going on well over a decade from that position and just answered back. There's a triple kill on your screen once again from Bound. This entire game just felt like a... You could make a montage, I think, from that 25 minutes of Imperial CTF and I would absolutely love it. Throw some Breaking Benjamin on it, call it good. Export. <laughs> This is the play from Dead Zone. Take a look at this. Him, the 1v1 versus Stellar, he knows he has to stay alive here. They get a really confusing battle here. Stellar starts to go up pit box, as you see. They kind of just phase through each other there. Unfortunate for Stellar as Dead Zone picks up kind of the benefits of that engagement. And in the end, continues to slay. But even this flag was not enough there. A little bit of a team nade coming in on Dead Zone. Slowed things down maybe just a bit. But an unbelievable game. I think a game already that I will never forget in terms of Grand Finals Halo matches. Yeah, it is absolutely superb. Uh, uh, no, it's just exceptional talent, exceptional skill skill on display from everybody on the stage but even though we can wax lyrical about what a great game it was the result is that optic gaming win it they are up two to one in the series now andy and that is massive for them just a reminder if you're just joining us and a pretty good time to join us after that game optic need to reset the bracket here space station have the advantage they will have to win this series before they can go into a series to call themselves champs and just such an unbelievable game just to uh, once again be an example between these two to see just how evenly matched not just they are of course overall which is quite obvious based on the series results so far that we've seen in these games however just each individual battle it feels like every single time that you feel like a team is starting to pull away and they get a man advantage a player in a key position hits the shot that they need to and it, it's we're so lucky to see a continuation of last year where we really started to see this peak of competitive gameplay and such small differences between these teams and you're seeing it on display here yet again in 2024. i mean the expectation now of the shots for these players to hit right is just it's something that we've never seen before in my in my personal opinion you know you're seeing lucid there bounce slides through sword and my expectation is not that it's going to take two bullets and a body shot, whatever it might be. It's that he's going to headshot him. And that's exactly what happened in that game. But that's going to have to go into the history books to be revisited once again at another time. An incredible, incredible match of Empyrean capture the flag. But it now has to be laid to rest as we look forward in this series. Optic Gaming up two to one. And now we get some recharge Opal. It is wild to think that we are only three games into this series so far as it feels like we have been on this main stage already for quite some time. We'll take a look once again at the oddball recharge records for both of these teams and how fitting both of them are undefeated in the map here surprise, in, surprise. in Arlington. And this is maybe a, game, a series tying game for SSG. They want to still think about closing it out here. However, think about it. If Optic Gaming closes out this game and goes up 3-1, to one, you might start to see some bets going down on the second best of seven. If I had to pick it up, uh, game type, excuse me, that I believe Space Station excelling, I would say it's oddball, though. This is their kind of game type. And Optic will know that as well. They're going to have to be so disciplined in those holds and make sure they don't give those numbers away too comfortably for Space Station to get those setups. But it, it's an interesting match of styles here, isn't it? We talk about Optic Gaming in these odd balls. They like to get a setup. They like to hold areas of the map. Space Station are more happy to move a little bit more transitionally, right? Two players alive, if they can get that odd ball in a 2v2, they'll hold it. They'll move it away from those spawners. But off the rip here, it's going to be Formal who gets that first camo. And he's going to get those first kills too. A tail as old as time. It's Formal with the shock and the camo in the pipes. Three were dead. Minor man advantage should be able to grapple the ball and start to collect some time. How many players do we see miss that, by the way? Quite a few, especially in my ranked games. <laughs> Formal does not make that mistake, though. Gets the ball back to his teammates with that grapple. And now goes to work with the shock rifle. No one to hit quite as yet. Legend might be the first target. But somehow, Eco managed to sneak through the pipes there. Just as the attention was taken away, he finds the double and immediately turns his brain to objective mode. Interesting. I think maybe Optic was thinking about a rotate, but then there was pressure coming in as it was four dead for Optic Gaming. A really, really nice counter from SSG as they're going to start to score here, put some points on the board, and a very nice prenade coming in from Eco on top gold as well. They're now going to hold in pipes. It felt like Optic was thinking for a split second to ro whirlpool rotate, but they had to do a little bit of an awkward 
forward play ball to the batteries, which was not really the, the normal play ball to bottom mid that you'd want to see, really getting that well into batteries. It made for SSG for an easy pickup. And now, just like that, they lead in the game. By the way, what a start this is from Eco in this game. He's six and one, positive five, with only 28 seconds or so of full time for his squad. But this has been a very, very strong pipes hold at the moment for SSG. Legend and Stellar are going to pick up more kills as well. And with the camo coming up, I'm interested to see what the play is called is from both sides. Do SSG think about maybe throwing that ball out and fighting for the camo? Or do they just hold the setup and hope they can force a burn? Very nice job here, Eco grappling back. Making sure to change angles, but also holding shield. Look at Trippy with camo. Big, big play here. One dead for each side. Ball dropped. Goes to that ball carrier immediately as well. And you can see SSG, they know. They know there's a camo player around somewhere. So they throw that ball out. Bound can sniff him out. Bound's trying to get the kill, but Dead Zone was there to support Trippy as the attention was dragged away. It's two dead hit for SSG and Optic have the ball in their hands. Surgical from Optic Gaming. Once again, how many times in this series alone have we seen Trippy taking his time with the power up? He does it so well. Waits for the help from Dead Zone as well. Very selective in kind of his target engagement and making sure he's getting damage with taking minimal damage. And just like that, Optic Gaming brings the game back within six. Formal's turn with the stock. With the shock rifle now. Dead Zone and Eco are going to trade meantime. Bound's going to fly and bound. Stay alive for now. Formal gets to clean up damage onto Legend and now he turns his attention back to Bound, but he decides that Needle's fight is what he fancies for the time being. 2v2 on the map right now. Lucid around the batteries. Has the ball. Bound with that ball in his hands and every time they touch that ball and they reset it, it just causes a problem for Optic. Do we play for the kills? Do we play for the ball? With two dead, you can tell Lucid got the go signal there. It's green light for Optic on the elevator collapse. They're going to be able to grab that one as well. That's Enemy a staggered two ball. dead for the side of SSG. You see a player in pipes that Formal's oh, already engaging run. with. If they pick up both of these and continue to trap in long haul, this will be more time on the board and we will see a lead change now. Optic Gaming goes into the lead in round number one. They go into a lead and not only the lead, oh, Andy, they go into a position of such power. Look at this setup they have. It's almost the perfect setup. If this was Strongholds, they'd be holding A and B, watching those crosses, as Lucid now tries to take down Eco as well. Inside of the turbine. Eco's last player alive in the position of power. It continues. It's a four dead. It's a clean white for Optic. The lead will extend. Really, really good damage across the board. You saw Lucid, even though he knew he was going down in the Whirlpool, he knew to get those two or three shots with the Bandit into that final player as Eco. He had no prayer of getting out in pipes. Now it's a little bit of a rotate coming in from Optic as they start to move things towards pipe and gold, but still holding down an elevator as well. Shroud is down bottom middle as well. Falling from the heavens is going to be a space station player. That's going to be Eco, And the perfect time as well, because this was the opportunity that Optic needed by picking up the camo to turn things around before. Well, it's exactly the same now. The space station get it, because Optic are four dead. They have a full setup, and Bound still has the camo. Wow, the timing is dangerous, as you say. It's a four dead, but it's just after Bound got the camo, so he's able to get the fifth kill as well. Lucid's the first to fall, which will now mean more points on the board. And Space Station ensuring that Optic doesn't run away with a round one just yet. It's an 11 point game. You get the feeling by the time the Optic are even able to push, this is going to be essentially a tied round. Formal going to be challenging. Oh, Formal with a big, big win. Maybe the extra bullet that came across from elsewhere was good enough to help him out in that fight. But it's four dead now for Space Station. Optic do get four on the map and they get four dead. It's a perfect break again from Optic Gaming. And tons of effort on the comeback here. Look at the push right away. Wow. SSG tried to go fast. Will this one bite them in the butt as they get taken down? And they're still on staggered spawns, which means more points on the board for Optic here. Big push coming in, big 1v1. Legend gets one. Legend still alive, by the way, on the elevator. Dead wow. trying to buy time, but Legend breaks through the setup almost single-handedly. Kills two, it's three dead, it's four dead, essentially, for Optic Gaming. And the Frenchman takes over. SSG have a chance now to tie this game up if they can get their hands on that odd ball. How Quadrant-esque to even when you're down a man, you fly in the bottom elevator door, you just start making some noise and getting some kills. Just like that, we're tied here at the 83-point mark off a great counter coming in from SSG. They go into the lead now. Trippy gets the kill though. And SSG are going to have to think about play ball. And this is such a precarious position because if SSG play, then Optic have control of pipes. They're going to be able to gather that ball up almost immediately. Eco knows it. It's a race here to pipes. Player. 
Last player alive is Eco. Eco has big responsibility here. It's 91 to 83. This could be the last play of the game. Oh, he's going to cut him down, though. Look at this. Eco by rotating all the way through gold. Moves exactly Look the play this. call that comes in from Optic. Legend gets one as well. Eco might have just won the game for SSG with his decision making. He holds the ball in his hands, and now Optic will have to watch as Eco might have closed this out. Trippy goes for the hero play ball. It doesn't go. Eco chases him down. The last ditch effort. It's not enough. Space Station will get the round one win on a huge comeback. It looked like it was over from the elevator push. It was a perfect four dead for Optic Gaming, but Space Station foot on the gas pedal immediately. With a man disadvantage, they push and they catch Optic Gaming off guard. They win round number one. We'll have plenty of time to talk about that play from Eco that won them the round and the decision making that won them the round. But for now, we're straight back into the action. The first camo is going to be picked up here. You can see the Bound does not want any part of Dead Zone. Saying to his teammates, please kill this guy for me. And Stella will say, okay, I'll kill him, but as long as I can have the camo afterwards. The ball. That Santa hat, invisible for just a moment here. We'll see what he can do. Terrible time of the year for that. <laughs> really terrible. Really hot in Texas as well. Quite muggy. Early seven points on the board for the side of SSG. He's going to swoop around the midbridge, pick up another one. That means it's two dead for Optic Gaming. Ever so slight lead here in this round as well. Just seven points, but it's enough. Stella will still with that camo. Trying to nade that ball back, I think. Our SSG and going to find an optic sandwich down here at the bottom of the stairs. Two players stacked up on top of each other. It was a killing spree, but here comes Dead Zone again, trying to force that play ball. And that's exactly what he will do. Gets the kill as well onto Legend. Can he turn two? Doesn't need to. Formal's alongside him. It's three dead for SSG, and Lucid is immediately on that ball. Stellar's last player alive, and it's staggered there, so that's going to be a little bit even more timing coming in for Optic. But look how low scoring this is. We have one minute off of the game clock so far. However, it's only seven to seven. You can just tell the team's really preferring to get as much slaying control as they can before they hold. Round being a nuisance. Oh, oh, Round being oh. more than a nuisance almost for Formal there. But Formal does get that kill. Opal still in the hands of Optic as the score will go up. And Lucy trying to rotate towards Spawners, trying to rotate towards his teammates. Gets cut down momentarily, but Trippy does have that shock rifle here for Optic Gaming. So Eco's going to be under some pressure. What, what shot did Trippy just hit, by the way, as he's flying into gold off screen? You saw he gets, gets the headshot. And look at this, Eco just making sure that no time's going to happen. No time going to tick up for Optic, just plays the ball and buys a lot of time for Space Station. He puts that ball in such a horrible position for Optic. He almost rolled all the way towards his spawning teammates as well. And now, once again, the king of the pipes is Eco in this game. Two dead for Optic Gaming. Stella's going to get that camo. Let's see if Stella can stay alive. This would be huge. He had help in pipes, but he gets taken down. Three dead in the end. Legend was your last player alive. It was a 1v2 momentarily. All reset. All resets. All incoming. Lucy checking those elevator spawns to make sure that no one from Space Station Gaming has snuck through. Now he turns his attention towards Bound, but Bound had already picked up a kill there. Trippy will trade it out. Stella's flying in to try and deal with Lucid. It's a 1v1. Everyone's sliding everywhere. There's bubbles. There's all sorts going on. It ends in a trade. <laughs> of course it ends in a trade. How else would it end in this series? Three dead for Optic for a moment. Formal is your last player alive. We'll see if that affords the opportunity for Space Station to grab the ball, but no. Because Formal's chilling pizza. Sounds awfully good right now, the longer this grand final goes. Trippy stays alive in Whirlpool as well. They try to hold down this area, but it's a big push coming in. Formal answers back on the elevator door. Formal no right really to come out of that with his life. You expected a trade, but he just got that little bit of extra damage in before bounded. Legend trying the same trick again as last time, but Formal's learned from those mistakes that Optic made before. The turbine belongs to Optic for now. As does the score still, it's so low scoring. It really is. Both teams just headbutt each other for kills. It really is. It's a very, very different round than round number one. You can tell these teams realize just how much is on the line here. We're one round away from Space Station, essentially tying up this series. And Optic Gaming just wants to desperately get this next game on the board to be one game away from resetting the bracket. And surprise, surprise, it's 62 kills to 60 in favor of Optic Gaming, only separated by two. Stella tried to play ball, but Formal caught the ball. And now, Lucid had that shock rifle as well. So it's going to be shock rifle for Optic Gaming and the pipe setup that gave them so much time at the start of the first round. If they could put it to use in the same way, control the map in the same way, and oh let Formal do what he wants then this will be an extension of that lead for Opti. Ooh, gets big damage on form, unbound, excuse me, but unable to take down that last kill. However, based off of the first two kills, that buys them a lot of time. Now here they are scoring 43 to 15. Camo up as well. Trippy trying to move and think about a play ball, but not going to be able to get that ball out into a position where it's not going to be challenged. They're in the 1v1 with Trippy. Trippy will win it. That's two big kills, but Formal now last alive. Where did that camo go? Eco, he's got it in the back pocket. Decides wow. not to pop it quite yet. 
Again, brilliant decision making from Eco. So many players would have forced a burn there, but he knew he could win that 1v1 and survive with that camo. He also leaves Lucid there as well. That's going to be three dead now for Optic Gaming. Ball is still down on that. Eli Ledge, and just as Bound jumps up to grab it, it resets. Just as I was about to say, how long has that ball got left on it before it resets? Yeah, let's see what the play call is here. Eco still with the camo in hand. Let's see what they could do here. Listen in with Space Station Gaming. Needles dead zone. Okay, triple, triple. Trippy was like bottom mid, guys. Triple, triple, watch out, watch grapple, watch grapple. She's here, she's here, I think, guys. Yeah, top right, watch out. Or better, he's dead. Nice get up, she does. Trip up, trip up, ring. Bogger, 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 bogger. Yo, last guy, see flat, last guy, see flat. They're trying to kill him, they're trying to bring close. Watch me, watch me, watch me. Marching message. Tell me, tell me, gonna kill him. Look, 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 look. Come in, come in, come in. He's triple, triple, triple. Let's take it. Come on, the enemy has the ball. Bottom on me, bottom on me. Bottom, pick up, pick up, you're good. Nice, let's make shit, make shit, let's Nice, the buddy's a bit. Let's two guys in team. Let's two guys in team. That's a lot of time. Watch this game. Watch this middle man. Rich, jump on. Rich, jump on. Front right. Watch this top man. Watch this middle man. I see that. Come on. Watch him. Watch him. Watch him. Watch him. Watch him. Watch him. Come on. I suck one, I suck one. Nice, nice camo, guys. We get this camo. Baby, bottom mid, bottom mid, formal. Bottom mid, bottom mid. Camo's on that. Two bottom mid, two bottom mid. Two watch it, four shot. Watch it, two shot. Watch it, two shot. Watch it, two shot. Yeah, no camo, on camo, guys. Triple. Nice, on camo. They have camo, watch it, camo, watch it. Watch out, grab one. Yeah, hold it. Camo, watch it. Nice, camo, camo, camo. Spawn day. Spawn day, spawn day. Watch out, bottom mid, watch out, bottom mid. Spawn day, spawn day. 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 C plat, hold C. Is it weak or no? No, no, no. I'm watching for the right. Axe ball time, 54 seconds left. Long reek, long reek, long reek. Here, shit. Okay, but I'm not. Are you dead, Legend? No, 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 no. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. But I'm in, I'm dead. No, I'm dead. Watch out, but I'm in. Watch out, Shady, watch out, Shady. Look at Shady, look at Shady. After Shady, after Shady. And put your mind, your mind, your mind. After Shady, after Shady, after Shady. 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 After Two shots, two shots. Yeah, we come in, we come in. Good ball, good ball. Watch out for us, watch out for us. Two more pipes, I think. They're no more pipes, no pipes. They're no more pipes. Now they're listening and into the lead. Space Station Gaming, they're ahead, but only just for a second as Optic finally gets some kills and Optic go back into a lead themselves. Unbelievable back and forth here coming in. We'll see three dead. This could be the final hold here for Optic if they pick up a few more kills off of this next SSG push. And oh. Formal has the jump. This is big damage. No. Those are your last two. That could be the round right there with the last two SSG players starting to push. The reason I say no is because SSG just served the game to Optic. They run in without looking. They force it too quick. And now they're going to lose the round because of it. And now they're going to lose the game because of it. Optic gifted the game in the last moment, and they will gladly accept. Wow, unbelievable. They tie the game up here one to one in rounds. And back and forth. Finally, Optic Gaming goes back in the lead in Slays. They're outslaying 91 to 88. I cannot stress enough how unbelievably close the kills have been specifically in these objective game types as well. It was a great listen from Space Station. Keep in mind, they were trailing by about seven or eight kills and about 40 points. They bring the game all the way back to come into the lead at the 80 point mark, but Optic Gaming closes it out, as you said. Space Station trying to play their trademark fast play. They're trying to fly through tower. That's not going to be easy. You're going to get baited into those plays by Formal. They catch them off guard, and Formal gets huge damage that essentially secured the round win. Yeah, I mean, the, the level of Halo has been so high. I think SSG just panicked a little bit at the end of that round. Maybe they thought they didn't quite have as much time as they did to formulate that push. They try and get over aggressive, and it just, like I say, falls into the hands of Optic. We deserve to be and earn the right to be in that position to force it. A couple of dead on either side at the moment. 3v3 in deaths. It's only Stella and Trippy are alive at the moment, and they're nowhere near each other. Let's see if we're going to push, push in. Tries to get the 1v1. Trippy drops, grabs the ball for a second. Where are the spawns? And Stella, as a result, gets the ball, and he's going to scarf her away, but still with some shields to play. Look at the movement coming out of him as he just ushers this thing back very, very gently. It's an elevator hold for SSG. I mean, such a big win for a number of reasons, Wyatt. The obvious one is he wins the 1v1. That's great. You give yourself a number. But by winning the 1v1, the elevator spawns coming for the rest of SSG. He can wrap back round to elevator, hold that ball, and get that little bit of map presence they needed as it just continues to put the pressure now onto Optic. But surprise, surprise, Optic answer back with some shots themselves.
First one to Falls Eco there. The kills will be traded out. Bottom elevator again. Two dead for both sides. Teams tied 101 to 101 in kills. <laughs> this has been unbelievable between these two. And once again, it's a very similar in terms of the amount of points on the board mark round here in round number three. It's only five to two. With look how much time has come off of the game clock as a result. This one's ticking away pretty fast. Finally, SSG will grab. Maybe think about a rotate here. They throw to bottom tower. I mean, it, the there's been no room for a full setup yet. No team has been three, four dead. It's been 2v2v2 two 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 for pretty much the entirety of this game. And maybe this is the first opportunity we're going to see for a full setup. Space Station will lose all four members. Trippy gets the camera off the back of it. The oddball is at oh. blue as Eco explodes on the batteries. And maybe this is what they needed the side of Optic Gaming. Whoa! Oh. They certainly wanted it. They pick up another one. Trippy with the camo and the shock. They call him Big Game Trip for a reason. Might pick up another one here. Eventually, he'll be traded out. Two dead for both sides. Three dead. Lucid is your last player alive for Optic here in Long Haul. Lucid is going to find Legend in front of him. Go! Oh, oh my god! He explodes him! Right. Dave Walsh, wherever you are in the world. He's in the, the building. He, yeah, he actually is. He's smiling in the building there after the instant explode from Lucid. How many times is Lucid as your last player alive doing wild things like that? I was going to say, if Walsh, wherever that happens in the world, if Walsh is, he just sits bolt upright. Just yeah. It's the middle of the night. Just knows a bat signal goes up. He knows there's been an instant bloat somewhere. <laughs> and the entire Walsh family, they smile. 35 to 7 here in our round number three. Trying to force another play ball here. Shroud will go down just to keep Stella alive for a few extra seconds, but the extra seconds aren't enough for Lucid to think about changing his decision to chase him down. Eco's last alive here. 35 to 7 is the score. And Optic have been in control more than I think we've seen him any round so far as they get another two dead, but hey, surprise, surprise, it's two dead on either side once more. Yes, they were really patient to get their points on the board. Look at Seller somehow staying alive, and once again, just beautiful 1v1s coming in here, and Dead Zone will eventually be taken down as well. One dead for each side, as trying to see a hold come together for Optic Gaming. See what Lucid could do from bottom mid. Lucid might have a really good flank on these two players, by the way. If he can win these fights, then there could be an opportunity for a setup. He knows Bound's still here. He's taking damage in the back as well. He takes the 1v1, he accepts wow. it. Bound will win that fight eventually, but there's the damage he in the back. The That's what keeps those numbers a little bit more sane. SSG have the ball in elevator, but they're very split across the map at the moment. The big question was, where was Trippy? He was the last guy alive for just a second. He's a staggered kill coming in at glass, which means this will be more points on the board. Seller maybe thinking about a rotator, a play ball here. Right now, he's trapped in top elevator. Really spread across the map, these two teams. Lucid re-challenged that. I think Legend did not think that Lucid was going to walk back down long haul after they had that initial little joust. Trippy has the camo, but Eco sniffed him out for now. He's going to have to just survive and let him get away with it. So the score is getting closer. What a hold this has been from SSG, by the way. But this was the power up that allowed Optic to break before. It was about a 30 point lead for Optic Gaming. Guess what? It's completely gone. We're tied at 39. What can Trippy do here? He's going to fly in. He wants to clean up the damage onto Stella. Stella will take one down before he gets taken down himself. And Optic will keep the ball in elevator and will go back into a lead. They should cross the 50-point mark here. And Space Station is backs against the walls. Very good play there from Trippy with the camo and the grapple specifically to prevent the play ball from going bottom middle. That will mean more points on the board and a momentary 15-point lead for Optic Gaming. Walls throw down into Turbine. Trippy versus Bound. Bound will be taken down elsewhere. Stella last alive now. Optic Gaming win the battle as the oddball will fall into the hands of Lucid. The shock, though, will go to Stella, and he can even numbers up very, very quickly. He was in a momentary 1v2. Now he's going to be pushing against even greater deficit. Picks up the first one with ease and still has half of the shields to bring to the battle. He's trying to cut the middle of the map as well because he knows Optic want to rotate. Gets the call out. There's a one-shot bomb tower, but that one shot is Lucid. Two frag grenades are going to be enough for him to win that fight. Legend now taking on Formal. The trade will come in. But the trades favor Optic because yeah. they have that lead. Exactly what I was going to say, Mark. Formal knew he was the last player alive, bottom tower. The fact that he picks up that kill and that trade prevents another SSG hold. And it's a big one because still a 20-point lead, 21 points for Optic Gaming. One minute left in this game, one minute left in this round. Optic, no. They just have to keep Space Station off of that ball. And if they can do that, and they will go within one game of resetting the bracket here. Lucid outputting so much damage at the moment. But where is that oddball? It's a great play call from Optic. If they can execute here, Camel's going to be down. Oh. Big double kill coming in from Lucid. He's going to go for the triple. He grapples in. The killing spree and the triple. And there is the cherry on top of the cake. It's going to be the camo. It's going to be the 
smart ball, and Lucian stands next to it and says, they're gonna SSG, come and get it. They're not grabbing ball. They are not grabbing ball. They're going to bait these kills. They're going to hope for another team wipe with only 25 seconds left. He just resets the ball for a touch to prevent the ball resetting. They're going to continue slaying with the time on the clock here. He still has camo. 18 seconds left. Now gets one. Lucid will clean up some more damage though. There is one player maybe in position to make a hero Last play player. here, but that's not going to be enough. Eco, you're a pretty good player, but four Optic players will close down the final push from SSG. Optic Gaming, one game away from resetting the bracket. Big, big kills coming in unsurprisingly in this game as well as we went all the way to three rounds. And what if I told you, you saw some 40 bombs coming in from Formal. How about Lucid with a 53 bomb? 53! Wow. I mean, the level of Sorry, melee 54 is 54 kills. We sure changed him. Sorry. We did. Sorry, sorry, Tommy. 54 and 35 in a game where a lot of the lobby was in the 20s and the 30s in the kills. Lucid goes huge. How about a 24.7 KDA? out of Lucid. That is unheard of here in a grand final on the main stage. So much to talk about in that game as well. In the third round, there were some really pivotal moments that we'll talk about, but most importantly, Optic digs deep in round number three. Let's not forget, that's a reverse sweep in the oddball. They lost the first round. They had to win the next two, and they do just that to win game number three. When you look at those stats and you see that 24.7 or whatever ridiculous number, it's like a data error. That yeah. popped up. It was such an outlier in comparison to everyone else. And it's the stat line that divides the two teams. Incredible game of oddball once more. So many big moments to talk about. I mean, the triple kill from Lucid at the end, that's what really secured it though, right? Because it's not just the fact that he shuts down the push. Yeah. He gets the camo. He gives the one thing to Optic Gaming that might have come back to hurt them and make sure that they button up that game. And they are now, like I say, one game away from sending us to a second best of seven. Also, a huge shout out to the team in the back, because let's not forget, as these games go into things like double overtime and third rounds, our replay operators and the entire team in the back has to be <laughs> cutting even more and more. These replay packages are so long because that's how long these games are going. They're going the distance. And keep in mind, in the replays, we're only still in the second round here of the replays. Well, I just heard from our producer, they just, all they've got, it's pretty easy for them in this series, they just hit record and press play at random points, yeah. and it just shows us you, a highlight. So statistically, you're guaranteed to get a pretty good Yes, this was pretty good. The right here from Formal, look at this. He waits and he baits in tower and just catching them off guard. They keep two dead. That's how they closed out the second round. And as we said, it was a low scoring third round as well. But big plays from Trippy with the camo and the shock to break things open and start the scoring. Yeah, it's just those moments, right? How many times were we talking about numbers on the map in that game and how it was always no one with a numerical advantage. It just had to be a camo or a power up or a power weapon that allowed one player yeah. to get the double kill first and then they could get the three or four dead that turned into ball time. It was a really strong hold from Optic at the start of that game. SSG made that comeback with the elevator hold in that final round, but Optic ice up right in the final moments. And I mean, just take a look at that series. 4-3, 50-43, two to one in a reset. D double overtime. Double overtime, two to one in oddball. Now, one thing we can't... Oh, no. <laughs> I, can't. I was about to say one thing we can guarantee, and then yeah, we were out of guarantees. We were out of 50-50 yeah. already, so we are out of guarantees. guarantees. One thing we can say is that we're <laughs> so this game should is be we're gonna keep short? playing. I don't know. It's just that so we're gonna keep I playing. Know. I don't know. We'll keep playing. I think that's all we can guarantee <laughs> at this point. I also want to take a second as we wait to get into that game to talk about a very specific moment from Optic Gaming that was just moments before Lucid's triple kill. The way that that developed, you might have seen it. Legend and Eco, last players alive in pipes. Optic Gaming gets damage on those pipes players, and as a result, they get an immediate ball grab. They toss the ball bottom middle, and even though SSG gets elevator spawn, so now they have a really good setup with elevator top cat as well as pipes optic gaming waits to, for the perfect opportunity they bait the camo bottom middle then lucid flies in grapple with the triple really well done to close out that round and there was a lot of plays that led up to that triple kill that optic had to execute correctly in order to set themselves up for success in the end they outslay 146 to 136 across three rounds as they re-enter the stage one game away then from resetting the bracket here but with how tight this series has been, one game seems still like a, somewhat of a mountain for them to climb, right? They've still got to get the job done. They still have to close this series out and not give SSG a look back into this series because 3-1 sounds great. You're one game away, but 3-2 sounds 
a lot different. Talk about dead zone, the addition that he's brought to this team. Let's not forget in that last game, he dropped 29 assists in a game where two of his other teammates and also players on the other side were in the teens in assists to drop 29. Four more assists than he had kills. Pretty remarkable. And we've seen that time and time again. Let's not forget Optic's debut on the main stage here this season earlier on Friday. Dead zone leading the team in assists in all three games in that 3-0. Not surprising to see him continuing to deal the damage for the squad, which sets up teammates, of course, like Lucid to drop a 54 bomb. Not every day you get to see games with coming in with over 40 and 50 kills in a grand finals, but we are being treated to just that. I'm having a great time. I'm having a great time. <laughs> I'm sure Arlington's having a great time as well. I mean, what a series this is. I feel like we're getting really, like, super lucky. Yeah, very Some lucky. of the finals we've had recently, we've had I mean, just pick your, pick your grand finals from last year, to be honest with you. Yep. It's absolutely it's, true. It's been crazy. And I, the way that this one's going as well is got all the makings of something very, very similar. But Space Station, as they re-enter the stage, will not want that. They want to get this done in the first series. And even though Optic are ahead, and they've got more than a nose ahead now with a two-game advantage, it doesn't really matter to SSG if they can win the next few games themselves. It yep. puts all of the pressure back onto Optic. Every single game that SSG take from this stage, you know, the pressure goes off their shoulders and it goes straight onto the other side of the stage. Right, and let's not forget that Optic Gaming is going to be really aware of that, right? They're knowing that, hey, just because we're up 3-1 to one in this series does not mean that we can take any sort of energy out of this, any foot off the gas pedal. It's quite the opposite. As we take a look at stats from this series, a deadly duo of Lucid and Formal. Take a look at the numbers on your screen. I mean, 54 and 52 in one game is, is ridiculous. Now, don't get me wrong. One was an oddball game with three rounds, and one was the never-ending Imperium catch of the flag that went double overtime for Formal. But those are some incredible statistics from two players who are known for getting kills. Also just shows you, as we said, even though they have kills like that, look at how, you know, comparatively, you don't have a 2.0 KD on screen, right? These are 1.2 KDs or so. And as we said, deep into these games, these two, for these two teams to be out slaying matched 101 to 101 on oddballs, it's unbelievable to watch these stats pour across our screens. It's been already a historic series and we're really just getting started of course, in this grand final, three to one here for Optic. We took a look at one man there just very momentarily as we look like we're ready to get into our next game of the series. Who, this is his first grand final. He's sat on this main stage yeah. right now and thinking, what is going on? I'm not used to this, <laughs> but I can tell you, I bet he enjoys it if they win this next game and they make a series of it. Legend in the first grand final of his career. We're sure there'll be more ahead of him, but for now, Optic, one game away from resetting the bracket here in their hometown. Lucid POV after dropping 50. Oh, he seems fair. It really does. 54 kills on the board for him, and he's going to be looking to adding to that total, of course, throughout the rest of this grand final. Kills exchanged early on, but you're right. All the closeness of these matches and the carnage, we've almost lost track of the fact that, of course, once again, you have the first time a European player has ever been in a major Halo grand final in over 20 years of competitive play. Already making history. We'll see if he can continue to do that. But in order to do so, they need to stay alive. Space Station Gaming with their backs against the walls. If they lose this game, we will go to a second best of seven. Well, Slayer is going to be the game type here on Live Fire, and Formal is going to have that sniper rifle. Even though Optic don't have a lead, it might be an opportunity for him to do some work here. But oh my wow. goodness, the entire kill feed turned blue. SSG wipe Optic. They will get the camo, they will get the sniper rifle, and this is trouble. Stella's got the sniper. Optic, I want to put an extra helmet on. Absolutely vaporized all at once. When we say a perfect timing push, it's hard to think of a better example. All four players respawned at the same exact time because of how clean the timing was. And now SSG, they're up 9-3, to three, looking to send this series the distance and not go home in this one. Optic just slowing the pace down for a second. They kind of had to because a few of them were in the death screen, just spectating. Now that they're back on the map, they can think about how they want to approach these next few moments of the game. Stella just locking down some lanes at the moment. Optic will know that he has this sniper rifle, and that's exactly why they're reluctant to peek. As you say, five kill lead. Extends here at 9 oh, to no. Ooh, he knows Lucid's coming through. Two players in mud. They're going to try to get away. Stella just holding the angle. Two-man push coming, and actually three-man push. Dead zone also on Nest. Now this has got the timing as well to line that shot up. Teammates are there. But Optic again a little bit the better at this battle. And uncharacteristically here, Stella can't hit the headshots, can't even hit the body. 
And you have to say, that was an incredible push there from Optic Gaming. Just shoulder, bring some of those pillars, just making him use those shots, but not being able to connect. SSG still have the lead as Legend flies forward, but Optic back in this. Yeah, Optic right back in this here. Be one dead. Legend and Bound will both fall here, so it becomes 12 to 8. Before we lose the POV, take a look at the camo as two were dead. This is a very, very big point in the game. That's momentarily three dead for SSG. And even though they're spawning inside of the garage here, they're going to have to be careful because damage has been done. And Lucid doesn't need to be asked twice. QT's going to be there as well. Four more pick up another. Legend narrowly avoids the green gun and comes back out to get the kill himself. Optic 2 dead. That camo is such a focus. Oh. It's a double kill for Legend. Former with a QT will slow things down, but not enough to stop Bound from collecting this power up. This is big. Former with the QT, bound with the camo. We'll see how this plays out. Only three, three kills separating the two. Let's get to a listen in now with Space Station. You have no help. You're getting into green. I have Cypher Tower. Check Legend's position. Yeah, yeah I see. I see you, Legend. I'm going to come big, right? Where are you, Reds? Reds, three. Okay, I'm going to put my arrow. Okay, watch out. Reds, watch out. Watch out, Reds. 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 Okay, put him in, put him in. Okay, I'm going. Watch out, put him in. Nice. Put him in again. Push out, put him in. Put him in, put him in. Put him in, put him in. Watch out, Rat, watch out, Rat. Watch your bigger, Rat. We hold for QT, we hold for QT. Watch your big. Make sure you don't push me. Watch your big. I'm staring at the back. Watch out, big, watch out, big, dead. Nice. Top eight, top eight on the pistol. Pushing top eight. I have QT, I have QT. I'm paying him. No one in, no one there. I'm pushing you in. Don't see anyone. I think the cut's Okay, one's on the way. Load our weak, load our watch out about it. Yeah, yeah, watch out, watch out. Watch out about it. What's the cut? Watch the threat. Watch the threat. Right, he's watching. Top eight, top eight. Look, watch the threat. Screens on legend. Look, 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 look. Check it. Two check it. Check it. I'm too bad. I'm too bad. Trippy, trippy, trippy. One in day. One in day. Top eight. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Dead, 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 dead. Let's jump, Mike. 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 Let's jump, I don't want to snipe the tower, but somebody should fuck it. Pilos, Pilos. I'm looking, I'm looking. Pilos, we can come out with that. Looking big with snipe. Pilos again. Stop me, stop me. Stop me. Come on, behind me. Come on, Kido. Come on, come on. I'm watching out, Bourne. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Pilos. I think we start playing. Come on, come on. 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 Come on, come Watch the camo, watch the camo. I'm pushing green, I'm pushing green. Push it, push it, push it. 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 Well, the first two thirds of this game have belonged to Space Station, you would say, but Optic is starting to just chip away at that lead a little bit here, Andy. Wow. Dead zone with another here, and Legend have to retreat back to keep himself alive. Very nice repulse there of the green rat tunnel, just sends that back on the one eater repulse and even holds his angle there. 34 to 34 kills separating the two. SSG got to be careful here. This is what we talk about with the Slayer games, right? When they have momentum, when they have the pace going their way, they can get these leads, but it's when they start to get a little bit kill hungry, when they start to get a bit over aggressive, oh. that they just let people and teams back into these games. Is that going to be the case here? Or was Stella getting away with that sniper? Is that the comfort blanket that they need in this game? Very big 1v1 there from Legend to win that against Lucid. Keeps them in the lead, but only by five. Far from over just yet. And guess what? Sniper rifle and repulse in the hands of Formal here on tower side. We're going to relocate to tower, you would imagine, to try and get some angles. Stella just falls just quick enough to not be caught in the reaction time that Formal has. Bound gives a little poke. Checks the cheeky jump up angle. As you see the battle now oh. happening in and around that camo once more. Bound and Stella combined to get that kill themselves. Stella goes in now. Bound will repay the favor. Wow. It's two important kills at this stage of the game. It's seven kills now to go for Space Station. 
to put their second game of the series on the board. Very big kill. Somehow bound, as you say, keeps Stellar alive. Stellar in the end, though, gets caught off by the big door and the green angle. So just like that, still a five kill game. 43-38. Hazon gets the kill, but it's traded out immediately by Stellar. Trippy with another one, and now we're looking at Optic and saying, these needs to be no trade situations, and that's what has just happened. Trippy gets two. Without response, Legend will get one just to slow things down for a second more. The camo could be the game here on either side. It really is, three kills now. Ooh, ooh, another one comes in though for Bound. 46 to 42, what's the camo play here? This will decide the game. Bound got two kills there. Lucy's gonna get away with the camo, but I think SSG have realized that they might be able to afford a camo going. They might even collapse right now before the camo can make a play. Let's see how they play this. They're actually going to slow the game down. They're going to sit top mid, try to bait the camo out. And Lucid maybe says, oh, they get the double. 48, 45, not over yet. Are they going to regret this? Stella gets one himself. Lucid cannot challenge that kill because otherwise he'll go down as the last kill. It's one to go here for SSG. Lucid has to take this fight. He's on an island right, more, right now. You can see SSG are trying to sniff him out, but he cannot find anything to play off of. Space Station now go hunting for that last kill themselves. The camo has disappeared. Lucid will be the final kill. And SSG answer back to Optic. It's 3-2 now, but SSG are hot on the tails. Another game that, of course, comes down to the wire. 50-46, your final score, however. Really good composure from Space Station there. Allowing themselves to deprioritize the camo. They knew it would be a factor, but they knew they could play around it. They could continue to add up the kills because they had that kill cushion. Here's a look at the stats in just a moment. Some big outliers going to be legend, the newest addition. Not only does he lead the team to victory, he also leads the team in kills, 17 to his name. This guy loves Sly Fire Slayer. We saw him drop 21 a little bit earlier on in the tournament, and now he drops 17 in a grand final to give Space Station a little bit of hope back in this series. And it takes us back to the conversation we were having before that game kicked off, right? Optic one game away. They'll know that. They'll know that it's just one more game and they reset the bracket. But now at three to two, things start to turn from we're about to reset the bracket to we're going to be tied up in the series if we lose this next one. And we could be finding ourselves in second place. Take a look at some highlights here. Space Station, went, keep in mind, off to a very early lead. They were up nine to three, as you saw on your screen there. Then it was even 31 to 25. So things getting very close. In the end, this is really good communication you heard during the listen in. They were able to take down the camo, but here's your final moment. It's 47-43 here. Look at the kills that SSG are able to get. They get their 48th, and just after that, they get the 49th, which are absolutely huge in the end. It's only a four kill difference separating the two. Optic Gaming leading 3-2 in your best of seven. This track's an absolute banger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, where did this song come from? <laughs> Solitude is going to be our next game, though. And this is a very interesting game type and a map to have, right? Because. This is one of the most unrelenting and punishing game types we have. We see the best teams in the world go up against each other. And yeah, we've had some changes. We don't have the S7 sniper now. We have the shock rifle, but we still see these 150, 200 point, even 250 to zeros yep. sometimes run against between two of the best teams in the world. This is going to be a game which is, you cannot afford at any point to be the last alive and challenge for a kill. You have to survive. You have to make sure that at some point you're allowing your team to get back onto the map. Because otherwise, if you go four dead and you lose two strongholds, you lose three strongholds, you are gonna be in for a rough few minutes. You are both of these teams, of course, one no in this game type here at Arlington. The one though that I'm looking at is SSG because of what we saw earlier. Let's not forget, they were down by 100 points earlier this weekend and they mounted an unbelievable comeback to bring the game back up against Quadrant. I believe they were down 246 to 110 or so, and they uh -huh. bring the game all the way back with six repeated three to four deads. Perfect Halo on display. They've done it once. The question is, can they do it again to force us to a game number seven? We spoke to Bound, and he was saying that sometimes SSG play their best Halo yeah. when they know they have no more mistakes to make. We're not quite in that territory yet. But they were, will certainly be in a position where they're feeling the pressure a little bit more. Strongholds is going to be the game type. 250 points to win here. That shock rifle could be a game changer. And we're starting off with a man who dropped 17 kills to drag Space Station back into this series. It's the Frenchman. It's legend. Truly unbelievable. 17 kills in a game that they won by four keeping his team alive in this series. They desperately want to force this to a game number seven and the opportunity to end the grand finals in just one series. One thing you don't want to do is go two dead off the rip. 
because then you're going to have SSG flying at you. It should be a camo pickup here for Space Station Gaming, and it is. The last player alive is trapped in blue already. And this is a worrying, worrying moment here for Optic at the start of this game. Even in the first few seconds, there might be a triple cap on the cards. Love that from Eco, keeping his camo player alive at all costs. Really, really good help just in case Stellar might have been on the receiving end of additional shots. The Stellar versus Trippy battle continues. Time will also continue here for SSG on the BC hold. 25 points on the board. The information that Stellar's just got as well. He's still got the camo, so he can avoid all the shots. And Optic are trying to bait a kill out here. And Formal will bait that kill out. It's Legend, who just maybe just goes a little bit quicker than his two teammates to try and force the fight on A. And that falls into the hands of Optic. They haven't played this so well. Wow. Eco's your only player alive here. Dead Zone trying to pull the pressure, oh. but guess what? Eco answers back with a triple kill, maybe more. Time will expire on that, but how about getting three dead for SSG, and just when you think you've done the job and can push out of your base, instead, Eco picks up a triple and ensures that his team now goes into a 60-point lead. Eco has started this game 6-0, and zero, by the way. Might be able to pick up his first death now as he comes under pressure. Still has one shot left with that shock rifle as Optic try and convert B. Looks like he'll give this one up. Now the flank comes in as well. He's got the repulse. He's trying to turn attention away to help some other teammates. Lucid, though, should be able to take the fight at sea. There's an opportunity for Optic to start scoring here, and it's one they will take. Stellar flies out right away. That's big because they keep two dead for Optic Gaming. Lucid's weak on truck here, which means three oh. dead. Last player's going to be at snipe. Big damage once again, just because Eco's able to stay alive as long as he was. So Space Station only lose control of the scoring for a few moments. Former does stay alive for long enough to at least have some spawners around Ooh. him. Ooh. But the last shot from Bound, it's going to be clean to take down another Optic member. Look at Eco bottom middle as well, doing so much damage. It's a 2v2, but when you're scoring, you're happy with those numbers. Yeah, 2v2, as you said on the map, for both sides. And it's been what we've been saying now for what feels like about an hour and a half, just so <laughs> back and forth between these two. Keller stays alive. Double kill with the camel. Let's see what he can do at Yard. Three dead. Trippy laughed alive as well, and it's going to be a triple cap here for SSG. It's 95 points and rising as the triple cap is stifling. Legend gets the kill without getting traded. Look at this. And now Stellar with the camo, he can have a field day. Oh boy, this was what was dangerous because Stellar didn't even have to work hard with that camo to get the first few triple cap. A killing spree for him on screen. Three dead again. They're going to get the A reset. And it's perfectly timed. I think everyone watching at home was worried when the trip cap came in without Stellar having to burn the camo or even really be involved in the battle. It was always going to spell disaster for Optic Gaming. And just like that, 156 to 3, the triple cap continues. Optic are trying to break out through mid here. Stellar, by getting those kills as well, and Yard collects a thrust just as if it's bad enough for Optic right now. It's going to be three dead again. It's four dead back to back. SSG. They have Optic in that blender. Three wipes in a row, and Mark, you said it. We've seen 250 to zeros. This one is potentially going to be very close to that. The triple cap continues. No kills recorded just yet for Optic Gaming. It's 205 to three. Optic need to stay focused here. They need to think one, two dead, one, three dead. We're back in the game. But for now, SSG are just not allowing them to breathe. They are hunting them down. And Optic, they are the prey. Formal stays alive for long enough for Legend to pick up another kill. This is domination from SSG. Staggered spawns, though. Look at this. They might be able to finish C. We'll have to see. It's three dead. Dead those last player on driveway. That's going to be the game. It's going to be a perfect game from SSG, barring an absolute miracle. <laughs> 250 to three points. What on earth did we just witness? Space Station outslays 31 to 12, and Eco goes 11 and 2 in one of the fastest, if not the fastest, strongholds we have seen in a very long time. Dominating does not begin to describe what you just saw. Do not adjust your television sets. 250 to 3 is your final score. Trippy drops one kill, and it's not even his fault, I think. It's just complete and utter map control, power-up control, power weapon control. It's a game type which is unrelenting, even with the best teams in the world. If you get full control, it's so difficult to do anything. And a few moments ago, we were talking about Optic resetting the bracket. Now maybe we turn the conversation to SSG winning the event. I don't even know what to say. Ego nearly goes 6x positive. Stellar goes 4x positive in that game. And I think everyone was thinking the same thing. When the trip cap hit, 
and they keep Stellar alive on LR with camo, with everyone spawning cafe. Here's this play right on your screen here. Huge shout out to the team in the back for having it ready right away. This was when they were in big trouble because it's already 120 to three. And then you have Stellar picking up camo after the trip cap hits, and then he gets a killing spree on the yard push. And they showed no signs of slowing in what might be one of the fastest strongholds we've seen maybe since year one. An unbelievable game from them. Uh, and as you see, they're really the outlier in this entire series. It's been neck and neck. We've been uh, relentless about how close these games have been. That one was not. So here we are then, everybody. The grand final could be decided right here, right now, in a game seven. We're either going to have another series of Halo in front of us, or we are going to have SSG walking towards that trophy you can see on your screen right now and lifting it above their heads. What composure, by the way, from SSG in this series. You, you felt like they were out of it. Yeah, you really did. It's, they bounce back in the 5046 Slayer to stay alive, and then they take that momentum. They carry that in a huge way into Solitude Strongholds to send us to a game number seven. Let's take a look at the map seven record here. Slayer on Aquarius, Optic Gaming in Arlington. They are 2-0, and oh, and SSG is 0-1, oh yet to win this game type up against an undefeated Optic Gaming in game number seven. You really couldn't write the script any better. You just feel the emotion, not just in the room, but on the stage has changed as well, right? SSG now focused. One map away from being the first champion of season three of the Halo Championship Series, right here in Arlington, in front of the Optic crowd. Optic, though, still have the chance to reset the bracket here, to give us some more Halo, another series for them to come back and maybe lift that trophy themselves. Game seven is gonna be Aquarius. Slayer, first of 50 will win it. Everything on the line between these two. One game to decide the series, potentially one game to decide the tournament. It's gonna be Slayer on Aquarius for game seven between Team Space Station and Optic Gaming. Well, it's a good start for Optic and a good start for Trippy. A little bit of a difficult game for him in the last one. And like I say, the game type sometimes doesn't allow you to do anything that you want to. He gets that first individual battle and he wins it. And off the back of it, Optic Gaming will have the overshield. Formal's picking it up. Oh, and look at, three at this to three. I was going to say, he's under too much pressure here somehow. SSG just destroyed Optic Gaming. An absolutely clean wipe. Formal gets a little bit aggressive and he kind of goes car one to get angles into the gen of the front base. But right away, Space Station answers back. They actually sent players car as well as going down bottom middle and pink to just shut down that overshield. And it's five to three off of what felt like it was guaranteed to be an Optic Gaming early lead. Optic Gaming are trapped in yellow here. This is bad news for them. You can see it should be a second kill here for Stella as well. He will get it. Three dead again for Optic Gaming. Trippy is last alive and space station have come out of the gates in this game seven it's eight to four in their favor big credit due there for the side of space station as we said it was the first kills the lead and the overshield going to optic gaming they immediately fly out of their base to shut that down and they catch optic gaming off guard two more kills for space station is 10 to 5 still doubling up on the score legend is holding down the pink tower but he now he's got three members of Optic Gaming in front of him on the pink, but this man has no fear. He challenges them all, buys enough time for the rest of SSG to come and try and clean up this damage. Oof. Yes. Ghost stays alive, tries to drop back down. Trippy will have to escape, but Bounce hunted him. Trippy does win that one off the nade. It just banks up to the top jump. So 13-7 inches score, still a sizable lead for SSG. Oof. Ooh, Trippy comes out of that somehow. Still alive. Not only alive, but getting that kill. The overshield's coming up as well. And little moments like that. Might be what changed things here, but there's Eco with a double kill. Legend flies in. It might be a triple kill, kill here for Eco. Stella's going to take it away. The overshield's still down. Wow, just back and forth from the pink side. 17 to 11. Still bound does not pop the overshield. He's not able to. Legend is the last player alive for SSG. <laughs> Can he grab it? No, all the way at car one. This will be an Optic Gaming overshield. Finally, the, everyone runs out of grenades. It was just nade after nade after nade. It was just an absolute nuke fest down around that overshield. Trippy goes for the beatdown. Oh Eco though turns again. it around. It's three dead for Optic, and that play in a game seven can hurt a little bit more. Second time in a row that the Optic Gaming Overshield was absolutely nuked by Stay, Stay Station. Excuse me. Two nades come in, and then Eco flies out of the connector to get the trade on the Overshield as well. That means 22 to 16. And just when you thought Optic had control, they had four dead. They had the Overshield. No. Space Station shuts down the Overshield again. 
Well, this is Optic's chance to get a bit of map control here. That was two dead, three dead. Eco last alive. And even though it's been a little bit of a shaky start for them, they've kept it close here, Optic. Only three kills between the two teams. Space Station trying to stay alive and not show for long enough for them to get multiple players back on the map. But look at Eco. It's been a, a sneaky little someone, someone inside of that fridge and manages to get a back smack. Pushing here on the fridge, a lot of help. Lucid needs to come in and clean this up as well. They will get the two dead that they needed. However, two kills traded out, but 25-21. Most importantly, Optic has kept this game close. Not out just yet, down by five. And they just got another kill as well. That's two in a row for him. And that just opens the map up a little bit more. Trippy gets that heat wave though, and we've seen some comebacks and we've seen some big performances from Optic. Usually it's when Trippy gets that heat wave and he's allowed to go to work, but immediately he gets shut down as Bound finds two. He's looking for the third on Formal as well. Legend will clean it up. 30 to 22, SSG are here to play. And how about the timing? They get the fifth kill as well. Overshield's popping now. Optic is trying to get immediate eyes on this Overshield, but I think it's grabbed right away. Stellar does grab it immediately. And now 31 to 23, Overshield in the hands of Stellar. This is getting out of hand quick, and they may be able to create the gap they need right here, right now. It shows you that the stats don't tell everything right. We were saying coming into this game seven, the Optic have a perfect record and the SSG do not. Well, it depends who you're playing, how the game plan works. At the moment, it's just a juggernaut walking towards Optic Gaming and his name is Stella. He is flying in. He's looking for another kill here. Lucid will get traded out. It's two dead again. It's 35 to 24. Lucid manages to shut down the overshield, but at what cost at the end of what felt like just absolute wrath coming out of the side of Space Station Gaming and Stellar's overshield felt like compared to other power-ups throughout the series, it lasted forever. They stack up an 11 kill lead here with seven minutes left. Well, the Optic fans trying to get behind their squad, trying to drive them to get back into this game. Eco's going to be behind two players here. The nade comes in and Trippy will get the kill. The flank has now been dealt with as Lucid will pick up yet another, but it needs to be some good Halo. They need an overshield. That's what Optic need to get this next overshield. If it goes the way of SSG, it might be Kurtz. 36 now to 27. Can Optic slow this game down enough to try to get back in it? It feels like an impossible task with the way the Space Station has been playing, not only in this game, but in the last three games since that game at number five win. 37 to 28, Optic Gaming needs a little bit of a miracle and some brilliant teamwork to get back into this game, number seven. Legend keeps getting the first pick in these team engagements. And he gets yet another one here, Lucid. You can just see he looks a little bit unsure about where the Space Station Gaming members are. The comps seem to be falling apart a little bit here for Optic and SSG are taking advantage. It's eight kills, the advantage now for SSG. They are 10 away from becoming your champions. You can tell they're even starting to trade here on the car side. They know that this gap is big enough here with an eight kill lead that they can trade a lot more than they'd usually be able to at a stage like this in the game. 41 to 32, they crossed the 40 point mark, now only eight kills away from closing it out. Well, I said they needed the overshield. Dead Zone got the overshield, but he's already being challenged by multiple members. Eco with the kill. But Space Station now within touching distance. They can smell it, they can taste another championship. Down three to one in this series, forcing a game number seven and off of Stellar's brilliant overshield play. The team wraps around that. They rally around those pushes and still up by nine here. Six kills away from closing it out. Stellar gets taken down. The damage should be enough to be cleared up. Formal's gonna be last alive here. Some respawns do come in and that might help. Him stay alive long enough for Trippy to come and intervene. It's 45 to 39. Do not adjust your TVs here, everybody. Optic still have a chance. A break the wall chant erupts versus a let's go Optic chant answers back Legend immediately. Again. Kills traded out, 46 to 40. Still a six kill lead. Only one team wipe required for SSG to close out the game and the tournament. Eco's gonna get spotted out, uses those frag grenades just to slow down the push towards him. Bound and dead zone trade. Great news is it's now just three kills for SSG to call themselves champions. It's Legend who gets another. And the man who's playing in his first ever grand finals, the first ever international player to get this far in the tournament, he wants to be the player to end it. It's 49 as Legend looks for the 50th. Not just for SSG, but for all of International Halo. Bound will get it. And SSG will be the first winners of this season. They will be a champions here in Arlington. And Legend makes history. How about it? Chills here for...
for me in the casting booth in Arlington. History made as a European player wins the first ever major event in two decades of competitive play. 50 to 43 is your final score in the final game of the series. Down three to one, they rally back to win game number seven in your grand finals. Well, SSG are on the main stage right now, and you can see they are ready to get those hands on that trophy. A proud moment for Europe. A proud moment for Space Station Gaming. They are your champions. And what did Stellar say? There's one player in the world we were going to make a team change for, and it's the player who just hoisted the trophy at the first event of the season. Stellar, Legend, Eco, Baum, and Coach Elamite Space Station Gaming are your champions here in Arlington. And you can pick a play from each of them, right? The back smack on streets from Eco on the camo. Stella, the ridiculous Imperium Snipes he was hitting. Bound with the 50th kill in the finals. And Legend with 17 kills in that Slayer. An incredible performance from all four members. And of course, Coach Elamite as well. Space Station will be your champions. Bro, it's been a pleasure to be back in the booth with you, dude. An absolute cracker of a final. But for now, we're going to throw it over to Blaze to interview our champion, Space Station.